Champions of the Realms final qualifier. Dude, when I say this pool was the most stacked it's ever been, the brackets in general, it was out of this world. Wait till you guys see the action that went down here. You know, every single one of these competitors were hungrier than ever. This being the final qualifying week, you know, these guys fought to the death to try to get into the top eight that's going down this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone on Caboose's Twitch channel. It's going to be the final top eight. This qualifying top eight is going to determine the last qualifying qualifier for the top eight finale that has a three thousand dollar pop bonus in it there is a three thousand dollar pop bonus in the finale dude it's gonna be insane the finale is gonna be taking place october 30th on twitch.tv slash cgl1 you know i'll be having links and everything to guide you guys and make sure you follow me on social media on twitter and shit because I'll, I'll, I'll be having posts and just updates on where all the action is going down again the support has been unreal for the champions of the realm series and i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart Thank you so much for all the love and support. If you've been enjoying this action, do me a huge favor. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and enjoy Champions of the Realm final qualifier pool play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Champions of the Realms Week 8, the final qualifier. Today will be the pool play, and it is going to be insane. As always, with what we've been saying for the entire eight weeks of Champions of the Realms, we must give a huge shout out to the sponsor of the tournament, Console Gaming League. That's also really key to mention as October 30th, it will be taking place over on their Twitch channel, the finale for Champions of the Realms. We got to give a big shout out to them, though. $1,000 contributed to the prize pool from them, as, long, as well as the crazy amount donated from the Match Arena from you guys, the viewers. Thank you all. Thank We're you here, so much. The final week destroyer, a tournament held by us, members of the community, for the community. How hyped are you, brother? Dude, I'm super excited. You know, it was just like yesterday when we sat together and was just planning all of this out. Yep. And we are here today with the final qualifier. We will get a yep. we will be getting one more player joining the top eight roster that is ridiculously stacked. Now, when I say this roster is stacked, Caboose, it's like it's kind of frightening just to take a look at it. And I'll go over it with uh with you guys real quick. We got qualifying for week number one, Saucy Fingers. Qualifying for week number two was Gur. The week three yep. qualifier was Averk. Week number four was Ambu Get Wrecked. Week number five was Twixy. That was the biggest surprise out of the yep. whole group, 100%. Week number six was Samij. Week number seven was Ooh. Combat Killer. Oh and now God. today, week number eight, we'll be getting one more qualifier in this super stacked tournament exclamation point bracket in the chat yep. if you want to see what's going down. Caboose, we're getting into this shit right now. Yep. We got the first yep. match about to go down. Am I we already see a cabal. We're already caballing. Caballing. Got the oh spins. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've, I've already destroyed my chat. I but know. Yo, GG's. GG's. Once again, spe speaking to the chat, yo, seriously, guys, make sure you're following CGL's Twitch channel. Exclamation point CGL in chat. Like I said, when the finale goes down October 30th, that's where you're going to be watching it. Obviously, me and Destroyer will make sure we're hosting their channels. Just in case you forget, you can come to either my channel or his Twitch channel, and you'll see us hosting Console Gaming League. But if you want to be there minute one from when the finale starts, hit exclamation point CGL, follow their socials. But here we go. Game number one of Week 8's pool play. We got Tony Jawbreaker and Ludi. We got Spawn facing off against Kabalan. 
That's what, exactly what you like to see in the start of this game. And I, we've seen Tony Jawbreaker in the past compete in this tournament. And he was one hell of a spawn. You know, he came in here and the first Woo! thing you heard was... Wanda! <laughs> no doubt about it. I don't know if you just saw that insane 48% combo from Ludi. Ridiculous. Tony Jawbreaker oh, trying to fight back in in the flawless block. Oh, he went with the armor breaker. Yeah, nice he caught him slipping. Dude, he's going with this variation from hell that we're not used to seeing here, you know? Yeah. Oh, we try to catch him with the back forward too. I guess that kind of keeps everything safe to a point. Staggering the back uh, the back one. Good grab nice from Moody. What's he gonna set up here? Oh, he just went for Ooh. a dash up EX butt on. This guy's nuts, but he's got oh the my. guns out. <laughs> oh, oh, nice standing three. Oh my God. This is getting way too close, way too early. Down four, and the back one. Such good range. Tony Jawbreaker making a hell of a run in that first round, getting it. Very good stuff here. He gets a clean jump in three. Try to go with the Nomad Dash conversion, but not going to get anything out of it. Tony Jawbreaker wow. with a lucky anti-air. Did you just see that wow. shit? Wow. I'm loving the spacing right now from Tony Jawbreaker. Good standing one to anti-air there, though. Moody's still in this. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, this is getting way too close here. He's gonna hit him with a Nomad Dash. Good damage here. Oh my god, 29% out of nowhere. He's gonna go over the forward two. Yo. Wow. He is always just out of range in that back one or the standing three. is just such good space control right now for Tony Jawbreaker. Such a good move too, because like... You can't break out of it, you know? Once he catches you with a confirm into that special, you just gotta hold all that damage. Oh! Nice the sweep! Back four to get out of that. Dude, that was genius plays from Ludi! The grab tech! Oh, oh he no! Shuts it he down. went for the fatal blow and he it shuts gets it shut down. down. Dude. Tony, Tony Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. <laughs> what a beast! Look at that, gonna rip his face off! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Wanda's literally in the sideline. She said, I'm right here. What do you want from me, you stupid ass bitch? <laughs> Spawn said, don't talk to me like that, Wanda. Please don't talk to me like that, Wanda. Hell's been waiting for you. Oh. Sometimes sometimes he just he jumps in. Like, I don't even really say anything. He pushes me aside and he's like, he just, like, he just wants to get on the mic. I don't know. Keith David, he's, a, he's an interesting character. I mean, I'm hoping in the finals, Keith David does like a, a full on appearance in the camera because, you know, they always do it and then sneaky. They, they always <laughs> sneak in these uh, these little quotes. I'm in sick and tired of this shit. But getting into game number two here, Tony Jawbreaker versus Ludi. Is he going to be able to bounce back in this set against this ridiculous spawn on the endless search for Wanda? Wow. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This endless okay. search for Wanda. Dude, the damage. Yeah, the damage he's hitting with Cabal here is too much. Oh, nicely done. Commits. Gets the Nomad Dash into Restand plus frames. Over oh, the back one. Nice answer from Tony Jawbreaker. Oh, the short hop. Nice down two anti here. Oh, and he got the down one conversion, but the breakaway was ready there. Tony Jawbreaker in a bit of trouble. Gets caught by the throw, and that's going to be a very convincing round for Ludi. Very good stuff here, man. Like I said in the beginning, Ludi is going to have to bounce back, and sure as hell did he just bounce back there. You know, we got two competitors battling it out in the sea of blood. Okay, Ludi jumps in with the jump in two. He's been getting this conversion all day. Into the restand. Oh my god. Oh, he shuts him down. Nice. Ludi is putting that pressure, Caboose. This man's in trouble. Tony Jawbreaker is going to wow. have to break that jaw. He's going to want to get out of this corner. Wow. This is terrible right now, and that's going to be it. The jump in. Ludi was in complete control, and he's going to do the goofiest oh. brutality in the history of the game. <laughs> you spin me round, round, baby. Round, round. round, round. Unbelievable. Louis oh goodness. answering back with a fucking explosion. Being stuck in that corner, especially with no defensive meter, is one of the most dangerous things 
against Ludi's Cabal. And he most certainly in that scenario there was, as the man would say, Cabalin. I'm waiting for that chat to just pop any minute. <laughs> any minute. You're hooked. Can anyone stop me? Now you're just enticing them, bro. I don't know which guy. I haven't said a word in the last like 10 seconds. Was somebody talking? I don't know what's going on here, but Ludi. I don't think anybody with Cabal and Cabal and got the spins, got the spins. Was saying anything. <laughs> this man is nuts. He's got PT. What? He's got PTSD from MK3, from all the think, spins that he hit. Are you hearing something? Is did somebody get on the mic again? I, dude, I've just been talking. I think we might have a glitch in the in the stream then. Are you telling me Cabal is running through, like, in the middle of each match and getting on the mic really quick? He's better stop that shit. That's all I'm saying. Oh! The yeah, jump in seriously. three into the infamous Looney conversion straight into the Nomad Dash. Dashes up, gets the grab. Tony Jawbreaker right now, man. He has been going for quite the spins this match, this set. You popped it. Nice. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Oh, the standing three. He's going to get a nice confirmed Tony Jawbreaker dropping the combo. Oh, very oh. unlike him. Also oh. worth mentioning, there was a variation switch. He went back to the one. Getting a little more combo potential out of it. He can end this round with a little combo conversion. Is this going to be it? Oh yes, God. indeed. Beautiful stuff there. Catching Ludi in the air. Dude, that was deluxe damage right there. This man, Ludi, has nowhere to go. He's going to have to hold all of this. 46%. Tony Jawbreaker kind of stealing that round there, right? Very much so. No doubt about it. Fight. Increíble. Maldita mierda puta. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there. You got to calm it down. Man. Relax, Caboose. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's punishable. Nicely done. Luda. Or Ludi. <laughs> Luda. <laughs> Luda, uh, <laughs> Ludacris is playing? Luda! We got Ludacris uh, <laughs> versus fucking Tony Jawbreaker. You're lying. Is that really happening here? How long was this guy going to keep his secret? This was Ludacris all along. Luda! Uh, nicely done there off the forward four. Oh, my Whoa! goodness. There is so much Wait, recovery. Did Wait, he, did no he do the armor breaker already? Bro, I, I mean, know. he is way too close to getting killed here. And against a character like Spawn with the comeback potential he's got, I think Ludacris should just go all out with the damage here. Nice throw. Okay. Oh, he still takes it. Ludacris gets the round. <laughs> now you're Unreal. Luda. Final round. Fight. Oh, very good. The instant air buzzsaw. Trying to keep that pressure on full potential here. Wow. I'm loving the, the, the utilization from Tony Jawbreaker's dash up down ones. You know, he, he knows Spawn has such a great down poke, and it's one of his best normals if you want me to. Oh my god! Oh, this could be huge. He got the crushing blow that time. Oh no, you cannot be dropping combos, not here. Sweep. The pushback. Drop combos on both sides this game. Okay, now Ludi gonna get some good hits in. Switches sides though. Oh, keeping it safe. Oh Asian. my God, the forward two one just gonna go straight through Tony Jawbreaker. Oh, he the was, armor breaker. Oh yeah, he was fishing it out, and that's gonna be a GG. Oh, he's he has no feet. He's got it. He's got it. He's He'll got be all right. No feet. He'll be all right. He's gonna make it. He's got. Oh, he didn't make oh, it. Spawn's dead. Spawn's he, dead. He didn't make it, bro. And look at that pose Cabal has right now, this insectoid of a fucking character right now. He's just standing there looking like the Grim Reaper as Spawn trying to crawl toward He said, you know, you know where's Wanda? I, I, I need Wanda. And Cabal said, you're hurt, Cabal and Cabal and too slow, too slow. And then, and then Devorah came through and she's like, this one's got the spins. <laughs> 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 bro, I hope, I hope that's not how it went down. I hope that's not how it went down. Dude, you didn't see that cutscene? <laughs> you must have the ultimate ed edition already because I, I didn't get that. It's from the new story. I didn't get that. On my my version, Wanda came in and she freaking slapped the shit out of Cabal.
Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what happened on mine. Oh, okay. I, I, I missed that one. Round That's where the deleted scene was. Oh. It's getting intense. DJ Spanky Doodle just put an intense track on. <laughs> it's getting fucking crazy. Oh, man. Good old DJ Spanky Doodle at it again. Nice sweep there. Tony Jawbreaker up 2 or Sorry, Ludi up 2-1 in this set. So Tony Jawbreaker definitely needs to make something happen if he wants to send it to a game 5. Nice. Standing 3 immediately into the charging hell spawn. That back 1 and that standing 3-4 is some of the best tools at uh, Tony Jawbreaker wow. disposable. And as I'm saying, that big crushing blow now from Ludi. He does lose the crushing blow off the armor breaker now, though. This is really good, bro. How many times is he going to get that jump three into the Nomad dash? He's done it about a million times today. The flawless block from Tony Jawbreaker showing signs of life here. Nice. He's going to get the back one-two conversion. A lot of damage on the table. 35%. He's one confirm away. Kaboos one confirm. Oh! Oh, wow. I think Tony Jawbreaker was maybe expecting a throw, so was just going for a neutral duck there. Got caught by the mid, and that's going to be match point now for Ludi. Oh, my God. Tony Jawbreaker just taking a step back, trying to analyze the situation here. But wow, Ludi is playing at a thousand miles per hour here, man. This dude is out of control. Okay. So safe. Nicely done once again. He's in that mid screen presence once again. Keeping himself in the game. Good 30% off that combo. Tony Jawbreaker needs a round here. Good blocks. The reversal. He gets the punish. Tony Jawbreaker is in nice. trouble. That could have been a big whiff punish there, but he was just a tad bit too slow. Wow. Wait, he was a tad bit what? Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> too slow. <laughs> oh, he was going for the sweep. Nice throw. Fatable territory for both opponents now. One hit confirmed will finish it for Looney, and this should be it. Guaranteed, Ludi will be moving on. That was wild, man. Ludi closing out the set 3-1 against Tony Jawbreaker. That's sending a statement, man, because Tony Jawbreaker is definitely no slouch. And for Ludi to be put up against no. him for the first opponent, that just goes to show what kind of pool he's in. I don't even know what pool this is, but Ludi is in probably in the death bracket, if, if you ask me. Yeah. Man, and he finished him with a he's fatality. Definitely he's oh, definitely Kabbalah. He's, he's Kabbalah 100%. You know, Spawn to get this treatment, he's going to get sent back to hell. Malboja's going to be looking at him like... Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's Malboja? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, Malboja. Malboja, you want to do it instead of me? You do it better. Oh, nah, okay, Malboja, the chill, chill. Malboja oh, doesn't okay. want to do it. So yeah, you don't want to piss off that demon. Then. No, that's all you're going to get you're was that that little one I did there. Uh, the next match we got coming up is another good one. Uh, we got King Tizza going up against a player named Poseidon. Now, Ooh. we haven't spoken. I don't know how we haven't spoken about it yet, but Poseidon immediately makes me think about fucking rain, bro. Rain. Yes. Okay. What did you think about rain. that gameplay, man? It's incredible. He looks really nice. He it's looks incredible. Really, really nice. A lot of combo potential that I was seeing. Like in every variation, he had like the ability to pop up and get some good combos oh. out of it. Uh, I think as well, one thing that we should definitely point out and talk about from the combat cast in general was some of the balance changes that was hinted at. Uh, yeah. The wake ups. Oh, yeah. The Universal now. Universal. Universal. Going straight back to MKX style with it. And then number two, throw damage is reduced oh. from what we could tell. Oh my throw God. damage was was uh was dropped down a percentile. So now it's 13% off regular throws, 30 off of crushing blow throws. So that's really interesting. I mean, we've seen a lot of games where people went around, they win a game off of a throw. So I wonder, you know, bring that damage down. Could that potentially change those scenarios a little bit? I'm very intrigued to see how that's gonna go down. The balance changes are gonna be huge. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, Rain looks so sick. He looks so good. Looks so and sick. I don't know what's going on, but it's like Netherrealm is just putting their all into these final characters, you know? Like yeah. Joker was out of this world awesome. Now we got Rain looking superb. And now we're getting the Rambo trailer tomorrow. Dude, 
I'm going to be up and early whenever the fuck they drop that trailer. I'm going to be ready for it. Yep. It's going to be insanity. You know you know what he's going to say, right? Uh, dude, I'll tell you right now. This is exactly what the trailer is going to be. His intros, okay, he's going to okay. walk in. He's going to say, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I was thinking. I was I was right on board with you. It's such a famous iconic quote from Sylvester Stallone. So I knew he was gonna say that. Like I'm sure I'm sure Netherrealm was thinking the same thing when they were making the character, you know? I mean if he doesn't say that exact quote I just said, bro, I'm gonna be pissed. I'll actually be a little <laughs> I'll be angered that he doesn't say, you know? I want oh my god, and remember Caboose, we are dying for the gibberish uh, intro against Arnold and Sylvester Stallone. It's better be yeah. Yo, and Arnold just okay. go. Really important. If they don't do it for the trailer, they gotta do. You know, remember what they did with RoboCop when they did the RoboCop versus Terminator trailer? If they don't make Rambo's trailer him against Terminator, they at least gotta do a special thing where it's a Rambo versus Terminator trailer. You know, they're the icons, the '80s action heroes. We got to see them in a trailer facing off against each other. So either way, though, we're getting... Speaking of the Terminator, He's as here. we start off this next match, we got King Tizza against Poseidon rocking that Joker. Arnold heard us. He said, what? You want me to get in the battle? <laughs> Say less, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me. I look so good. I look so good in this game. Stop hitting me. What are you doing? Get me out of this corner. Somebody help, please. Oh my god! It's all bullshit. I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. This guy is getting Arnold mobbed. Got destroyed. Dude, look, he malfunctioned there. I don't know how he's gonna <laughs> bounce back into this. King Tizza right now, stuck in this corner still. We got Poseidon just putting an ass whooping on King Tizza nice. here with and the Joker. Jump into the 4 2. Wow. Ooh, very nice. He shot the puppet off his head. You saw that? He said, I don't play yeah. with toys. <laughs> I don't play with body dolls. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. the reversal punish. <laughs> it's good. good job. Listen, Mr. Schwarzenegger, I'm sorry. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to crash you in the palm of my hand. Hi, right, now, now I'm intimidated. <laughs> oh, beautiful stuff here for King Tizza trying to come back. The That's overhead. the four two. Wow. You're no That's gonna be no a, a Google Gaga clone baby situation if I've <laughs> ever seen one. <laughs> oh, the interactable, bro. Hold up. How is Arnold able to move <laughs> up on these walls like that? He's a fucking ninja. Don't ask the questions. Nice wake up. Went for the four three. Top of the down four into the Kapow. Nice block though from King Tizza. Oh man, there's a lot of back and forth in this set going on. Poseidon, oh, beautiful! There's gonna be a lot of damage. He goes for the restand. Ooh, I like what I'm seeing. Oh, you could have got crushing blow there. Yo, you saw the power of that kick on block, bro. Joker, guys, wake up! That's gonna be the game if he converts into the no! weight. He's not in range. He wasn't in range. Oh, oh no! Oh my the shot god! Shot into the board. Oh, oh bro. I cannot believe the ending of that set right there. <laughs> King Tizza punching a hole through Joker's head. That was head. sick. That was sick. <laughs> an, an action-packed match comes to a friggin' massive ending with a punch through the head. <laughs> Holy Look at Joker just sitting there, bro. That was crazy. Wow. What a way to end that match, man. King Tizza is really feeling himself. And that was down yeah, to the yeah, yeah. wire. See what happens when you screw with me and the Terminator. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to smoke my stogie now. What do you I'll mean? See you later. Arnold, it's only... You're only up one game. You got to stay here. It's not, it's not over yet. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game number two. King Tizza with a huge win there and a big back and forth against Poseidon's Joker, who I should say is, is playing still very well. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that, 
That outro hurts me every time when he slices his thumb through the knife. Oh my god. I know, yeah. That pain. Oh! He gets the plus frames, the hit advantage on oh, the, the, oh. the shotgun. Oh, oh man, Joker, god. Joker's not having any kids with Harley anytime soon. No, sir, he's not. And you know, Joker, he, he just laughed at that too. He just got his balls exploded by Arnold. He said, <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. Okay. We got the jack in the box pressure trying to be set up here. Beautiful whip nice. on it. Crush him below the luck syndrome. He dropped. Okay, the immediate breakaway from King Tizza. Yep. Doesn't want to deal with this. Oh, he, he's putting pressure back to his balls. You see this, bro? This battle of the, the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Terminator isn't really having kids at all, no matter what, so. I mean, you seen the, the 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 last movie, bro? What do you mean? This guy had a whole family. <laughs> he had a yeah, but he didn't like have kids. <laughs> he had his own house. <laughs> Those were his fucking kids. I don't care. Oh my god. Oh, went for the command grab. Try to catch him with the down four. Dude, this oh, is so man. back and forth here. Poseidon is finally answering back. He's got the life lead. He's got the round. Wow. Everything is going in Poseidon's favor. And the okay. down two flipping Tizza like a pancake. Gonna close it up, tying up the set. One to one. What the hell is going on here, Caboose? What, what is this match? I'm leaving. You have fun. Bye. Crazy, crazy, <laughs> crazy back and forth here between Poseidon and King Tizza. Poseidon and King Tizza. Poseidon just had complete control in that corner. I was getting those shimmies, avoiding those wake-ups. Beautiful stuff. We're all tied up in this set now, one-to-one. -one. Yeah, that was just ridiculous. The way he, he just amped it up. It's like he flipped a switch in the back of his brain that put him in overdrive and just pushed him to that extra extent to take out King Tizza. Oh. No more Arnold? Oh my god. We're going over to Sindel. Bro, Sindel is, is busted. This man is not making a bad choice going to this Sindel pick here. Yeah, Sindel is uh, is a really solid character that we've seen quite a bit of. So I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. Round one. Fight. Oh, starts off the match with the... Let me not even say it. Starts off the match <laughs> with that kick. He started off the match with that kick. What's wrong with you saying it? You know what happens when, when you say that? The, fo the forward... The, the forward four? Nice flawless blocking here from Poseidon. Does a flawless block that time though. Okay. Catches another, catches forward another four. hit. He's here with the forward four right now. We got King Tizza with the forward four. Oh, He's gonna man. set up. Oh, that that round ended really fast. We actually yeah, that saw was like, a really good round. We saw about three forward fours and that was about it. The match was over. Quite literally. Oh, nice scream. So interesting to see this character played like from full screen the way that King Tizza does, but it looks like she's just a very successful character in this way. Ooh, oh, nice! He get said, in and get "Put that scream back in your mouth. Put the crush and blow in play. Extra damage, 35% with the quarter position. Wow, Jack in the box and a knocker out of the air. Okay. Bro, but okay. What a crazy conversion! Oh. oh. Wake up roll into Fatal Blow. This could be huge. Gonna just about, actually, no, not really even the life bars, but could put Poseidon in the range of having lost the oh, game no, after one combo much, big bro. throw. He had oh, it. Oh, that's crud. But this is the that's... damage over time. He's still alive. Yep, yep. He blocks it, chip avoided. Chip avoided. Oh my God. He went for the Fatal Blow and he got caught by the forward four Wait. to end the game. King says a... Gets the first game. Do you or, think sorry, he, gets the third game. Do you think he wanted to cancel and he accidentally let it rip or maybe? Man, King Tizza. I mean, most likely, right? You never really go for a fatal blow. 
Especially off a of forward 2-1. Yeah, Unless he thought yeah. the overhead was going to connect or something. Or maybe he thought King Tizza was going to try to interrupt the cancel. Yeah. So then he committed. So it was probably like a mind game that was beyond our imagination. But King that Tizza, could be the man, metagaming of it. Yeah. King Tizza, though, he's going to emerge victorious in that battle there. Taking game number three. Going up 2-1 to one against Poseidon, the Toto King. Whoa, whoa what? What was what? that? The joke. What? The who? <laughs> the what? Oh man! I didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear nothing. You know what? Wait, you hear that? What? You hear that? Falling, falling. I hear what something. The... Did you hear that? What was that? What the? Hell? Bro, I think you got like oh, a weird. ball running around your room or something. What? That's crazy. Yeah, you gotta watch out. All right, here we go, though. Big game now, Poseidon. Gotta get this one in order to send us to a game five. Ooh, the overhead gonna connect and a scream right in his face. What do you think Sindel's breath smells like? Uh, in, in Revenant mode? Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, look at all that unblockable damage that Poseidon just took. Luckily, though, taking it now rather than towards the end of the round. Gets the throw to land, trying to dash in. Avoids the low projectile. Oh! Gets the jack-in-the-box to connect. Oh, no. Nice. Okay, this is a big combo now for Poseidon. Oh, what was that? He knocked him he out of the air. Combo. I don't know what's going on. Good grab nice tech. I cannot okay. fucking believe it, man. Poseidon staying alive. The clutch plays Holy from Poseidon smoke. to stay in this set here. King Tizza is literally putting his all against Poseidon. This guy is answering back with a craziness. Really good stuff here. He's going to go for that. What Ooh. was that optimal? Oh. That was nuts. He did miss the end of the combo, though, unfortunately. But still, great stuff. I'm liking the tech from Poseidon here with Joker. Bro, I don't think I've ever seen that down to optimal from Joker before. Yeah, I don't know. Me neither. With the wake up, Shutting and that's going to be a big punish. He shut down the forward four with his forward two. Going to get the restand. Ooh. What's he going to go for here? The forward one. Oh, my God. Poseidon is ridiculous. Wow. Okay, we're going to our first game five for the final qualifier of Champions of the Realms. Here we go, Destroyer. Poseidon know, and King Tizza put it on a show. I feel like we're going to have a lot of game fives today. You know, this being the final qualifier, you know, people are really going to give it their all here. This is the last chance they got, Caboose. The last chance they got to get into the top eight finale with a whopping $3,000. $1,000 provided by the infamous, the greatest of all time sponsors, Console Gaming League. And the That's rest right. of it was from the community, Very man. Relaxed. You guys are fucking incredible. I swear to God, this community is something else. And I love every single one of you. Yeah, you guys have been incredible with the amount of support that you've shown us for this tournament through the entirety of these eight weeks. We are so appreciative for every single one of you who have tuned in and shown your support, whether it's just by watching the stream or donating to the Match Arena as we close in on $3,000 total for the prize pool, which is insane. As Destroyer said, the finale is taking place on CGL. Make sure you hit exclamation point CGL in chat and follow them on Twitch so you can be ready for October 30th. But as we go now into game five, King Tizza has switched over to Aaron Black. And the goofiest is... chance I've ever seen in my life. I think this guy is doing it for America right now. But one thing I got to tell you about Aaron Black, man, this is a character that's home to King Tizza. You know, King Tizza is comfortable with this right. character. This is one of the first characters he actually picked up playing Mortal Kombat 11. So let's see if he's going to be able to, you know, stay in this set. Things are right. tied 2-2 two, two right now. This can be any man's game Ooh, as King Tizza draws point. first blood. That's right, match, match point, point, man. In a very convincing round. As you can, as you said, this character very much his main or, or one of his main. So he's clearly putting on that on display. Good throw now though from Poseidon. Trying to answer back after that round. Oh, that's a big punish comes stuff. in. Yeah, this is what Poseidon needs. If, if Poseidon ends up steamrolling King Tizza in this round right here, 
This is literally as close as it gets. I mean, it's kind of looking like it holds on the back two as he breaks away immediately. Good blocks from Poseidon. Oh, that's nice gunshot. Shot. Shot. He opens him up with the ammo in the rifle. Oh this is a big God. crushing blow. No defense meter to break away. He can end the game right here, dead. right? Nerd Archer gets the round. No! What he the needed fuck? the round. He needed that round. Oh my God, is this it? No, I think he's dead. Oh, it might be it. Yo, this That's is gonna be this, so close. This is so much damage. Oh, he's gonna have the poison two destroyer to set up from the start. There it is, and the scud shot amplification will do it. King Dizza gets the game. Oh man, the dropped combo was heartbreaking to see destroyer. Prince Aaron Black wins. Bro, I'm like speechless after that one right there. That drop combo was heartbreaking. That definitely would have given Poseidon the round. Yeah, it would have. It would have given him the round. I mean, depending on what he ended it with, you know, it could have been enough damage to close it out. I'm not too sure because there would have been a lot of scaling towards the end there. But regardless, man. Wow. No, I, no, I, I think I think he, he would have had amplify, amplification on the Kapow. And he would have still he would have had some follow up there. It's that's just tough. That is a really really tough scenario. But big ups to King Tizza for taking advantage of a situation like that and getting a massive fatal blow combo. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Uh, the next match we got up, I think this should be a pretty good one. We got Zesquil. Uh, you know Zesquil, he has competed a couple weeks now. He has an insane searing rage scorpion. And he's almost, I think he's made a, a couple crazy upsets, or maybe he was uh, sure as how close to it. I don't know. I forgot. But he's he's a problem. He's going to be going up against a player named yep. Free Hills 4. And I, we were, I remember Free Hills too, because uh, we were just in love with his name, Free Hills. What about Free Hills 3? No, this is Free Hills Part 4. You know, Part 3 was okay. was last week. <laughs> this is this is the final qualifier. He's, he's at the final, the final form. You feel me? This okay. guy is the the full form free hills. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, all right, what's our next match, Destroyer? What do we got next? Zesquil versus Free Hills. Four. <laughs> this, guy, <laughs> this guy's nuts. I think uh, Poseidon actually got uh, paralyzed after that match. Let me see. If Did we, he? Yeah, I mean he's he's. Let me see if we can get him out of here. Side, if you're watching, please leave the lobby. Oh, if you don't mind. Hey, Poseidon, can you please leave the the King of the Hill? Listen, if I ever see you at a major, I'm gonna buy you a fucking Frosty. Thank you. A Frosty? He left immediately when I said that. You see, you gotta bribe these players with the fucking Frosties. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> This should be a good one. Um, I don't remember who Free Hills played, but you know, anybody with the with the thrive to come into a competition to a tournament, they they got something for sure. You know, and there's you, four of them. There's four Free Hills. <laughs> there's four. Free, there's four Free Hills. So let let's see if the if the fourth one's gonna be able to close it out and make a a top eight appearance for this Friday. It's gonna be going down right here on Caboose's Switch channel. Oh. I told I you, man. Going, oh! Mm. Wait a minute! Final Hold qualifier, on. and we getting the big daddy up in this bitch. Now, I'm interested. No way. I'm interested. I'm very Dope. interested. No. This should be good, man. Big this boy Shao Kahn. Yes. Big daddy in the house, bro. You better fall back. What's that? You talking you know, shit? Shao Kahn. You know what's important? You know what's Cut important about our friend Shao? Tell me. That's the narrator for the Champions of the Realms trailer. Yeah, it really is. Oh, it really he's is. The one. He comes in, he's like, eight weeks. He's a really good guy. Eight champions. 
Listen, Caboose, I, I, we don't have to bring up that time me, you, and Shao Kahn sat down for some coffee planning this out, but all I gotta say is he's here, ready to put the beats. He's got the big daddy hammer in play. Let's see what happens. When he broke my hand, it still hasn't recovered fully. I mean, but we, you're lucky he didn't break your fucking skull. I am. Oh, the down four? Whoa! Shao Kahn's got hops. Nice, 1-1 one, one into the teleport. Shao Kahn's got hops! Wow! Nice. Okay! Oh, that was a sick combo okay. coming in. I mean, 2 meter 30% isn't the greatest, but it looked flashy. Free Hill's in the building right now, catches the hammer. This man is showing the power of the Khan. The true Khan. I'm not talking about Mr. Huckleberry Turkey Hat. <laughs> Why you gotta disrespect him like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, he could have got a big combo off that. Got off by the 4-3-4 four, four, and the raw spear will do it. Whoa! Scorpion breathing fire in the mid-round taunt? That was it, sick. He's a dragon. Yo, the sounds that I'm hearing in my ears right now from the stage, I, I hate it. I love it, man. Right now I'm hearing the sounds of, of Shao Kahn grunting and fighting for his life against Zesquil. Nice down two. Ooh, Zesquil ducks under the hammer. He's waiting for a good opportunity to open him up. Oh my god, the kick just sent him flying. Hold on. Ooh, oh, nice, nice block. block. Went for the buff. The block. Okay. Wait a second. Free Hills is kind of even with the life bars here, but Zesk will. You know, he's finding a lot of opportunities for damage. Good grab tech. Go for the full forward 3 4. What a punish nice. from Zesk will. Forcing Free Hills to break her, and this should be, this should be a done deal. That yep. should be the game. Shao Kahn's heart ripped out, and Scorpion just going to breathe fire everywhere after that one. Good win for Zestquill. Swimby said, your soul is mine. <laughs> that's, that's the wrong character. Unless, are you saying Shao Kahn, this is Shao Kahn? Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. You tell me this is Shao Kahn, he's just shape-shifted into the scorpion? No, no, you're right, wrong character. You tell me this is Shao Kahn, or, or Shang Tsung? Did I say Shao Kahn? I said Shao Kahn, didn't I? Did I say, oh, okay, I'm leaving. All right, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Look, I like the um the fact that I can already read the comments. I like the <laughs> fact that Free Hills is going with uh, Shao Kahn right here, you know? Again, for a second time, because this is showing he has confidence in the character. He believes he can do this with the Khan. With the big nipple Khan. What what? With the what? Huh? What did you say? I don't know. With the who? Round one. Alright, well here we go. Game number two. I respect it too. I respect the character pick. I respect him sticking with his guns here. It's a character we haven't seen, like, at all through the entirety of Champions of the Realm. So what? I want the Beatles! Berries! Gonna slam him with the spear! Drops a combo though, but bro, Caboose, realistically, if we're looking at this match, look at how much life he lost with that one combo. Yep. You know, this Shao Kahn's got the damage. Oh, he does. Oh my god. Oh, nice flawless block. Look at the pressure being applied right now from Zestful. Good throw, 17% because of the burning spear. Gets the low to land, a short hop, a back three. My goodness, relentless. That was brutal. Free hills right now, starting to match off with the back three, looking for a crazy read, but holy shit! Zestful and these flawless blocks on the jumpins right now. You try to break the armor. I like the he attempt. Wanted it. Raw teleport connects. Near flawless round so far for Zestful. Gets the low. Dude, this was brutal. Oh my goodness. That was, that a, was that just was a about a victory. Flawless. I think it was. No, I think he got hit on block once. But, but it was pretty much it was pretty much a flawless holy cow 
Now that I'm seeing this scorpion with the purple, you think he's going for like a rain look? You think this guy is like a big rain fan? I think so. We got to get confirmations. That's cool. You got to get in the chat and you got to let us know if you're a big rain fan. <laughs> because you're, you're getting your character if that's the case. I can't wait to see rain being played at a high level. Really hoping again. I'm really hoping just all three of the DLC characters are super solid to the point where people want to use them in tournament. Bro, I don't care if fucking Rambo slower than the Terminator. I'm playing Rambo. <laughs> I don't care if Rambo is the worst character in the game. I'm playing Rambo. I'm going to beat people with Rambo, and all you're going to hear at the end of the match is, oh, yeah, you like that kid? Yeah, because Super said, oh, yeah, yeah, you, know what I, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 you know. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. that's, a, that's a quote from Shakespeare, right? You got that? Oh god. Yo, Sylvester is on drugs or something. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now, Caboose. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end the stream. I'm gonna have to end the stream, bro. It might oh, was that? Yet. We got 1,000 viewers in the chat. Oh, I'm not ending nothing. My bad. Holy, Holy cow. Smokes. Oh my god. I'm not ending. Was that Caboose? You're gonna end it? No, 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 no. Stop! Right, I'm in the end stream. Stop, stop, I'll stop! See you later. Arnold, smash his hands! <laughs> <laughs> this is it. The character switch to Nightwolf from Free Hills 4. It's gotta be the saving grace for him to try and make an attempt at a reverse 3 0. So far, Zeskwill is continuing the onslaught and is on match point now with this Scorponok. What the hell did you? Who's that? Is that one of the new is? is that one of the new premier skins he's getting? It's exactly. gonna be like a fusion of Dimitri Vegas and freaking Robin. <laughs> Scorpinox. I mean, who in the chat knows who Scorpinox is? All right, here we go. Good combo for Zestful. Went for the restand. The jump in into the overhead. No commitment though from Three Hills. He needed those hits. Oh, oh no. This is bad. Okay, gets the jump. Oh, missed the shoulder charge, and his head's gonna get ripped off. Zesquil will take this set 3 0. Unreal. No way. No, no way. way. No, no way. way. All right, let me see who we got next. I don't know who we got next. Oh, we got... Okay, we got the next match. Let me see. The next match is going to be... Mm-hmm. Ooh. Stud Muffin. Oh. I like this name a lot. We got Stud Muffin 0824 going up against Swamp King FGC. This is, this is the type of matches I like. Look. The Swamp King? The Swamp King. Now, you know damn well this guy was playing Swamp Thing in Injustice yeah. 2. If he wasn't, yeah, then, oh, sure. you know, this name is definitely very misleading here. But I, I like these t uh, these type of matches when we get two players that, you know, you haven't really heard of. And it it's always great to see new faces because, you know, they made it. I think we're getting into round two of the pools. So they, they beat some ass already. They definitely beat some ass already. So it's going to be interesting what these two players have to bring into the table. So I'm going up against Stud Muffin. Zero eight two four. Let me send these invites out real quick. And you said we're going in round two, right? I believe so. I believe so. I'm not too sure what pool this is in. Down to square. Oh yeah. I mean, throughout the weeks, I gotta say, man, things just kept running more smooth and more smooth. Minus that time that PlayStation put up that horrid <laughs> update <laughs> to try to sabotage our tournament. I don't I don't know what the hell was going on. Literally, like, at the same exact time, Champions of the Realm, I think it was, what, week six? Dude, it was yeah, a nightmare. Yeah. No, wasn't it last week? Like, this time last week, no? The pool play. I don't think it was... Oh, yeah, it was week seven pool play. You're right. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was rough. But, um, you know, despite that, man, just in general, the tournaments have been running super smooth. Uh, Me and Caboose, you know, we've been feeling very motivated and just enjoying the whole thing you know we we don't have a problem running these tournaments for the community everything has just been great and oh, i got a problem <laughs> oh shit <laughs> no i agree with you dude just like to to piggyback up what you were saying like 
we've been having a blast running this like genuinely been having so much fun commentating and uh i see somebody who keeps highlighting the fact that Derek kurtzik was talking about pineapple Yo, on pizza during we the gotta comic address that listen we gotta address listen. that what, I've been saying, what is your response to d I've been saying, live in front of thousands? I, I'll tell you what my response is. I told Derek in person that I'm hashtag Team Tyler, okay? Tyler Lansdowne would never say that pineapple on pizza is not <laughs> good, okay? And if he does, well, then that's it. Like, we're canceling, we're canceling the whole tournament, everything. We're shutting it all down, okay? Oh, my Nigga? God. Yes. Okay, nice. We got it. We got it. Where are you? Where's the share button? Share your screen. Screens. Oh my god, I just shared the Pornhub, bro. Oh my. Dude, what am I looking at, Destroyer? Come on, dude. This is what you're watching? No. <laughs> so <I'm sorry. laughs> Alright, hold on. Alright, everything said. We got Caboose back in the camera. We're going you down. Oh, yeah. you are. I didn't see it. Now you, you can see it, right? Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. All right, sweet. We got Honeybee going up against Emperor Turkey. I hope he's still Emperor. You know, I just go with their team names based on what I remember. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I hope he's still Emperor. Here we go. Game one underway. Starting things off immediately with a throw there from Turkey. Rocking that nasty Devora skin, but I guess it works in canon of the match. Oh my God, bro. Look at this this matchup. We know Devora and Koro, they had a little thing <laughs> in the story mode. And look at this, both of them looking like insects. This is beautiful, actually. So combo there from Honeybee gets the jump in into the throw. Escape fail on the back throw. No crushing blow throw or requirement from that, though. Ooh. Bars. He caught him. Dropping from the top rope. Honeybee with the overhead to finish off that game. Taking the first round of game number one. Round and we got Koto Khan standing looking like the ultimate beetle idiot. Very good overhead. He tries to go for the saw blade. Okay. That's a punish. It's a big punish too, man. Because every time the Vorba gets the momentum, it's like she just keeps on setting you up with nasty shit. Look at Koto said. Ah! Yeah. Oh, man. Honeybee has used both of those interactables now. That's great damage for him. Gets the neutral jump punish. This potentially could be the end of the game. Turkey not gonna break away. Gotta eat that restand. Getting caught though, and the throw will do it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I think he's dead. I think he's dead, Devora. I think he's dead. And then she made him sit and then she made him sit down like he's in kindergarten class. Dude, she sat his ass down. Koru Khan is sitting there thinking about what just happened. Out. Koru Khan is like, I thought we had relationship. <laughs> And it turns out that wasn't the case. Honeybee. Oh my god. Literally turning his world upside down. Holy smokes. Honeybee was in that corner like, fight back! Fight back! I thought we had relationship. <laughs> Holy oh smokes. man, Turkey right now in the character select screen, hovering over Geraldo the fifth. You think he's gonna go with Gearus? Oh no! This guy's pulling out Dark Side. Oh shit, we got a problem. I'll tell you right now, bro, in like straight up lore, if Dark Side pulled up into this game with the powers he has, oh, Dovora man. is finished. <laughs> She's done. She's, She's done. She's finished. In in fairness, even if we were talking like within story canon. It would probably still be the same case. She's done. With Gearus. With Gearus. I'm not, I mean, not even talking Dark Side. Like, if it's just Gearus. Oh, yeah, she's done. Dude, he's like a time god, you know? Like, he he, he just sees, like, I've just returned from Giovanni. Oh, my God. You bring me a slice? That shit better not have pineapples, motherfucker. No. Are you kidding me? Fail. Adapt. Evolve. All right, Gears. Don't you ever ask me to bring you anything from Giovanni's. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, Gears! Oh your match, dude. my God! Holy! Cross the line. The down poke. 
He's gonna get the jump in. Dude, is it like ironic that there's a fly flying all over my face if this match goes on? <laughs> get this bug bitch out of here. Get this bug out of the screen, bro. She's infesting my room with flies. Turkey stuck in this corner once again. Needs to fight back. Oh shit, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> he gets the time stopper. Nice. He get the jump in, setting up the sand clone. Honeybee oh. right now. Oh. oh, he missed the combo conversion off that. Not enough range, and that's gonna be the round going to Honeybee. Oh my god, did you see that, that wind pose, He's bro? She's pissed. What? Uh, this guy WB the GOAT just gifted another sub, sorry. <laughs> another 50 hundred? No, no, no. And I would have lost my mind if it was another 50. Nice, 4 2 one, 2 keeping himself safe. Good stuff. Turkey trying to get this corner control. Honeybee, though, now answering. Oh, very nice. The he went for the grab. command grab. Yup, the forward three gonna knock him out of the air. Escape fail, but that doesn't matter from Gearis. But Gearis really puts you into a loop once he gets that throw activated. Yep. He says, next time, perhaps. <laughs> the 1-1-1, one, 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 good block. Oh, man, Honeybee really fighting oh. his way out of this corner. He's gonna wow. get the back throw. What is Turkey gonna do? The interactable is gonna be punishable. This is oh, fatal below death. No. This is I fatal below it's done. death. It's done. It's a fatal. Yes, indeed. And it's over. Honeybee goes up 2-0 in the set. Very good stuff, man. Honeybee really making quick work of this match. And you know, a player like Turkey, this is not an easy thing to do here. Divorce. Oh my god. Another gifted sub. Jesus Christ. WB. WB, thank you so much, dude. Thank you very, very much. We got a hype train going in the chat, too. You guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Insanity. Insanity happening right now in Caboose's chat. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. Everybody turning in, tuning in, and showing love and support for the Champions of the Realm. Final qualifier! It's been quite the journey, Caboose. Quite the journey. We're waiting it for, uh... Been. We're waiting for the, the big sponsors to hit up. Where's the big sponsors at? Yeah. Who wants to, who wants where, to get involved? Where's the uh, Xbox Canada sponsor? <laughs> huh? They, they, did, they did pull up. They did pull up for the, uh, for the last stream. But okay, here we go. Game number three now. Turkey in a bit of a do or die Ooh. scenario. He's back to Kotal Khan. Gets the command grab to land. Oh, was that? Red Bull wants to sponsor the toy with 10 mil? No. Oh my God. No. What's happening? <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Nah, this is this is crazy. Caboose, I'm ending the stream. Smokes, it's too dude. much. I'm ending the stream. It's too much I'm going on. I'm losing my mind. I'm ending the stream. I can't, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with this, with this with this match. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If anyone's watching this on the YouTube, I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta switch back to the... Oh. You don't like that, that screen I had? With Thanos in that position? Okay. <laughs> nice neutral jump into the sweep. Honey B trying to answer back here. It's the corner. He has potential to come back though, Destroyer. That's too much. Turkey right now, he's in the corner with Fatal Blow locked and loaded. And oh! Oh! oh my goodness, Honey B with the Fatal Blow no. is now gonna put himself in a match point position. I like this. Like this. The will eat your flesh. this chat, this chat is insane. Everybody watching, you guys are all insane. Thank you, thank you again. Oh, he's gonna nice open him up. Honey B, one round away from closing this out. I don't know if Turkey's gonna be able to fight much longer, man. It's this costume, I'm telling you. When you got insectoid skin all up on your body, like, it doesn't make you flexible. He's real tight, you know, he's encrusted in this in this exoskeleton nasty shit. Yeah. He's gotta change, he's gotta change this sweet. outfit. Beetle Cordo's not working out for me. Oh, he can't change wait it a minute, now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Well, he should actually, like, you know, mold out of that skin or something. Oh, like it's a cocoon? Yeah. Mid-match, he's got to yeah. do it. I'm trying to go for the crab. You know, one thing I love about Honeybee's gameplay, bro, is he just does not oh. give a fuck about you. He, nice break away. He, he does his decisions and... Oh, no. This is disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh, so, my God. You saw the way Spider-Man. Koto just fell over, and he's just like... Uh, uh. That was disgusting. But GG's great stuff there from Honeybee with the Devora. Sending Turkey to the loser side of the bracket. Turkey not out of it. Certainly has an opportunity in the loser side of the bracket to make his way to the top eight. Honeybee, though, has his eye on the prize. He's been playing extremely well with this Devora. So I'm really looking forward, you know, especially how crazy would it be if Bio and Honeybee make it to the top eight for this final qualifier? What a storyline that would be. I think they almost did it one week, but Honeybee fell short. And today, Honeybee is looking like he's bringing that pressure, you know? Yeah. He, he's, let, yeah. Me, let me take a look at the, at the pools. Uh, so Bio is actually in pool number four. And he's doing great as well. Burning through every single opponent so far. He's 3-0'd every single body he's played. And he's one more match away from getting into the winner's final of his pool. You know what pool Honeybee was in? I think it was pool three, he right? Was, yeah, he's pool yeah, three. So Honeybee just beat Turkey. He's going to be advancing to the winner's semis, just like Bio. Both of them made it to the same spot, kind of at the same time. The brothers just got that connection, it seems. Honeybee's going to be having to go up against Abyss if he wants to get into that winner's final here. Oh, man. Whew, that's going to be... That's going to be crazy. But guys, I hope oh, you... Wait. Tell me. Is uh is Aquaman not playing on stream anymore? Did his opponent DQ? Did his opponent DQ? It says DQ, but I'm just wondering. I'm trying to confirm if that's... Mary, did Aquaman's happened. opponent DQ? Uh, is he waiting on stream? Yeah. Oh, they're playing on stream, right? Yeah, yeah. So no, no. They're, they're, they're still scheduled for stream. But listen, oh, wow. everybody. Thank you so much for the love and support. Again, we want to give a huge shout out to Console Gaming League for uh blessing this tournament with a massive thousand dollar prize pool you know it's been ridiculous we got mm -hmm. 1000 plus people in the chat for this insane tournament the final qualifiers today it's crazy caboose we're gonna be taking a quick break super fast real quick nobody go anywhere because if you do we're gonna oh, start move. yeah we're gonna start banning people if you go anywhere and when we get back guys we got mr aquaman he's gonna be going up against the toto slayer so get ready for that one. I know you're hyped for that, Caboose. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. Champions of the Realm, final qualifier going down right now. You know, we had a crazy start to this tournament. Caboose, how you been enjoying the action for the final qualifier, bro? This is it. We're getting Ooh. one more player into the <laughs> top eight. Yeah, no, it's been crazy to start off so far. Everything has been awesome to see. I'm really, really excited. This is the final week. As you mentioned, one more player is going to qualify for this tournament. And then October 30th over on CGL's Twitch, we're going to be seeing the finale, the top eight taking down or going down. And my goodness, what an eight weeks it's been covering and doing this tournament with you, man. It has been so much fun. We've seen some of the most hype matches MK11 has seen in the competitive scene ever i've been having a blast commentating alongside you dude yeah it's been so it's just been so much fun no it really has and you know to, to elaborate off of what you just said there man some of the most hypest matches i've ever seen without mm. a doubt has partaken here in the champions of the realm series call the dude. feds and, and have them go to your your house apartment and i'm gonna have them trash everything <laughs> You're laughing, but I'm being serious. I'll try, let me try restarting my game too, just in case that does anything. And you can try and send me another invite. And then uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. That uh, it's, it's This is definitely annoying. We apologize for the inconvenience. You got, the, I mean, I'm to watch. You, you got the, the screen share? Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. All right, brother. All right, Mr. Aquaman in the building, going up against the ponytail god, Fujin. This man's ponytail is long this is gonna be huge this is gonna be a huge set a lot of people i know are very excited to see mr aquaman competing in this tournament definitely a big game for him let's see how it's gonna go down as we get into game number one can we get a round of you don't impress me in the chat <laughs> right now please a round of you don't impress me right now 
in the chat. I want to see it spam. I want Caboose to get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> nice start for Aquaman. Has the corner advantage. Gonna get a good little combo no. here. Why is Aquaman using this fucking beetle skin? <laughs> uh, everyone's on this wave now, apparently. Everybody's a beetle. Wow. Command grabs galore from Aquaman right now. Doing work. It's a flawless round. Beautiful. Hey, I want to tell you a true story, man. You know, you look at Mr. Aquaman, you say, wow, this guy's one hell of a commentator. And then you play him and you say, holy shit, this guy's one hell of a competitor. Yep. He is a beast. There's just no doubting it. Oh, he's got the sun up. Taking a step back, but wait a second. Heinz Ketchup gonna catch him with the wind shenanigans. Oh, nicely done. Good way to get the side switch. Portal Khan, he's just pacing himself back and forth. He said, you don't, you, you don't, you don't. <laughs> nice usage of the projectile there with a flawless block from Heinz. Still keeping a bit of space. Is this Heinz ketchup mayo or mustard? I don't know. I'm assuming mayo because it's uh, Pooja's hair there. You're telling me he shampoos with fucking mayonnaise? Well, I did get the Afterbath uh, care package from, from Netherrealm, so I don't know. Was there mayo in one of those containers? <laughs> mayo in the in the in the Fujin soap. Oh, okay. I don't know. This is huge, though. Aquaman in the territory to try and get a conversion into Fatal Blow by the Heinz. Looking like wait, he dropped the combo. Whoa, he's out of there! Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, this God. is Mr. Aquaman we're talking about here, and there you go, Heinz gonna close it out, flipping the sword all over the place with the air bending skills. I'm telling you, bro, this costume, Beetle Khan, is just not cutting it for anyone. Well, Beetle Khan's gonna get that command grab once again to land, and the unblockable. Oh, no. He dropped it. Jump out. The back and forth is ridiculous right now. He's gonna get the cancel. Good jump in from Mr. Aquaman. He gets a nice neutral jump in that situation. He's gonna take a step back. He knows this is way too close. And what a confirm from Heinz! Oh my god! Good block! Oh, he missed. No flawless block off of the amplification for the warp needle. We need again the that little conversion into Fatal Blow could potentially do it. He wanted that big mid, couldn't get it. Oh, oh god. my god! He opens him up! This is huge! This is huge, Fatal Blow! Is this, I don't think this is it though, Destroyer. I don't think this no, is it. No, it's no, definitely no, no, no. not. It's definitely not, but you know, he's gonna have access to the sun. He's gonna have access to multiple buffs and the ginormous mid from the full screen. Mid. Gonna close it out! Are we gonna see a brutal? No brutality. Instead, he's gonna close it out with a down four sweep. Mr. Aquaman going up game number one. Oh, look at this outro. Oh Here. my God. He's the sun. I reset my game. Try send me an invite real quick just to see if I can connect. No. Just to see. Okay, all right, no. I'll see you later then. All right, I'm out of here. Have a good one, chat. Enjoy Destroyer's commentary. You know what? Let's just put Mr. Aquaman live on the mic. I'm not inviting you. Okay. All right, then. You can, you can commentate by you, yourself. You, you're going to have to watch this tournament behind the, the, the five-ton steel gates we got. You can commentate by yourself, then. All right? And you don't impress me. No, Sylvester. Sylvester, no. Don't let him in. What do you mean? You go guy. What do you mean? Don't let him in. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh. Oh. I connected. I connected. I'm in there. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be able to watch this match coming up. I still gotta watch the screen share, but the next match I'll be good to go. So I'm gonna end this, the, the stream. No, 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 not right now. All right, Mr. Aquaman here, man. He's got one on the board. Is Heinz gonna be able to apply the ketchup, the mayo, the mustard? Is he gonna be able to put all this stuff on Beetle Khan's back? Oh, you know what? That sounded dirty. I, yeah. I'm not talking Figure about it out. I'm not talking Figure about that stuff out. anymore. Figure it out. I'm not. I, I, you know what? Let's move on, guys. None of that just happened.
Figure it Dude, out. Look at this. Look at he pulled out the blade. He said, done. Yeah. Fuji Smart. said, I heard I don't impress you. <laughs> <laughs> nice start here for Hines. They get some flashy combos in there, but drops the end of it. And the command grab once again coming in from Mr. Aquaman. Oh my god, the jump out. He's gonna whip the ginormous sword, the giant up to wake up. Mr. Rock, that up to. It's crazy, <laughs> right? Like, I, I saw it, I was like, holy shit, is that real? Oh, the whiff on that command grab. Now gonna give Heinz an opportunity. Couple of drop combos here. Wow, that connected. Oh, wow, he catches the fatal blow off of the armor breaker. Bro. Sorry, off of the breakaway, which I, is an armor breaker. I thought that was gonna drop. That is so much damage there. Holy shit. Now, bro. Oh, he had the right idea. He was gonna oh try to go for the crushing God. blow to try to switch sides and just, oh you know, get God. that crushing blow animation to get rid of the sun. If he activated fatal blow there, could he have won? Maybe. He went for the immediate Fatal Blow, but then again, the, the startup of the Fatal Blow is pretty slow for uh, for Luganistics. Wait a minute. The down poke. He's gonna get Honestly, out of dodge all, there. That also really worked out well for Mr. Aquaman. The down poke off the, uh, the unblockable attempt still had Hines stuck in the sun for quite a bit. Nice punish now. Oh, that was Mr. a sick Aquaman. setup. Very much in control. Yeah, he tried to go for the low two to set up that command grab, but he's gonna get it anyways. Mr. Aquaman is putting quite the beating on Hines, and he's gonna close it out oh, with the unblockable. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff from Mr. Aquaman, playing extremely well with Kodo Khan. Beetle Putting Khan. on a show for the champ. Oh, for, from Beetle Khan, from Beetle Khan. Yes, yes, yes. Putting on a show for Champions of the Realms as well. I believe for his own stream. Big shout outs again. I want to see some praise the sun emotes in chat. If you are a sub of Mr. Aquaman, the sure, by the way, you can end uh, the share stream if you'd like, because I'm going to be able to see the next oh, one. Okay, okay. Mr. Aquaman, man, he came here to play. Not only is this guy the greatest of all time commentator, not only does he host one hell of a fucking tournament series, Coliseum, but this guy, when he wants to get down and dirty, he steps into the battlefield. You know, this is like the general just coming onto the battlefield right now. He said, troops, let me handle it. Fall back to the back lines. I will deliver the pain. You know what Kodal would say about Mr. Aquaman? You impress me. Yeah. You read my mind. I mean, Kodal is literally breathing down my fucking neck. He was dying to say that right there. He was <laughs> dying to say, Kodal, back up. Back up. You don't. You don't. <laughs> you got Kodal in your room, right? Not Beetlecon. Kodal. All right. Yeah, this is the, the, game three. This is a spawn of the Borba we're seeing on the screen here. That isn't Kodo Khan. Okay, okay. That's an offspring of, of the Borba right there. The mimics. Yeah, she st this Kodo this Beetle Khan stole the exact moveset from Kodo Khan. Nice. Hines right now in a tough position. Mr. Aquaman looking to get a 3-0. Whereas Hines has got to begin a reverse 3-0 with this fusion. Gets hit out of the air. The unblockable wait. Did he second hit that is blockable? <laughs> it is blockable. The first hit is unblockable. Okay. He opens him up, man. I believe in this Fujin. This Fujin's been doing some sick shit throughout this whole set. Oh, nice anti-air. Freezing the sun, but wait! Fatal Hold blow! Hold on! Fatal blow! Hold on! He's gonna commit to this fatal blow. It's not gonna be enough. This is gonna be a crazy comeback on the magic pixel if Heinz can pull it off. I believe he, he can. He just gotta, he's gotta avoid the sun and just oh, like no. that. <laughs> just like that. The sun catches him, bro. He skywalks right into it. Okay, good blocks. He's ducking, just waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike here. Mr. Aquaman, all the chips in his favor. You know, he's got around 
He's up two games to zero. Got oh, the crushing blow. Crush. Extra deluxe pizza pie to the stomach. Oh, that was a good nice. read. That was a beautiful read from Hines. Okay, nice. okay. Done. Oh, 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 Hines has a lot of work to do, having lost Fatal Blow. Again, Hines is doing that work, so let's just alone on the mic now. Wait a minute. What's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Hines doing a great job and gets the throw with the escape fail. That's as perfect as you could want it to be to win a round. Now the crushing blow throw locked and loaded on either side for Heinz here. This gives him a big block. advantage in this final round. Goes under the pizza pie. That was so smart. And he oh, got the crushing what blow. Heinz right now is popping off. Mr. Aquaman. He's definitely still in a position to close this out. Oh no, goes Honestly, to the unblockable. No. Bro, Hines is wow. he's he's amping up here, bro. Wow, look at these setups, Destroyer. Trying to get really flashy. He looks for the throw. He knows he has that crushing blow. He's trying to end it there. Whoa. Oh, big crushing blow off the drop of combo. Oh, this is gonna be really good damage into oh, the unblock. Oh my god! He has fatal blow ready! He is it! Mr. Aquaman will be moving on with the fatal blow! Holy shit! I'm gonna watch his VOD just to see the pop-off he must have had at the end of that match. 3-0 for Mr. Aquaman. What a run back. What is he doing? He just stared him down right there. You saw that shit? Mr. Aquaman said, You don't impress me. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, gonna praise the Sun Beetle Con in the building, folks. Shit looks like he got a penis on the top of his head. What did you say? I'm sorry, what? What did you, huh? I don't know, man. What? Did you do? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What happened? I didn't say I don't any, know, I, you tell me. I didn't Why did you tell me? I didn't say anything, though. Oh, you didn't? No, I that was, wasn't you. I was just sitting here for a good that second. That wasn't you. I was sitting here minding my business. I didn't say any, I didn't see anything. I didn't I say nothing. It. I don't believe it. What did I do? All right, who's the next? Who, who we got up next? We need, we need the next match. Who's next? Up next, we got... I don't know. Who do we got? Tell I me. I don't know. What pool is this in? We're getting some names. We're getting some names that I haven't yes, heard sir. of. Oh, well, okay. Never mind. I should have let you finish. But, like, still, some names we have. It's definitely some unfamiliar faces, but also some big names. Like, having Mr. Aquaman in this tournament is awesome. I see Jukes in there. I see Kerbalicious still in there. You know, obviously, we got Honeybee Bio. This is just as stacked a tournament as last week. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm excited Mr. Aquaman is going to be moving on there. It's going to be interesting to see if he's going to be able to uh, get into that top eight, you know? Let alone, yo, imagine the story. Mr. Aquaman qualifying for the $3,000 pot bonus finale. That, that would be crazy. would be quite the tale. But, you know, we, we got so many killers in here that are uh, actually present playing Kerbalicious is making a return, and he's doing really good throughout the bracket right now. So, you know, it's, it's just getting crazier and crazier. Um, I sent the invites out. I'm not too sure if this guy is here or not, but we will find uh, out. What is our next match? Huh? What am I looking for? We, we got, what, it, it's pool number four, and it's Evol versus Guillotine. Okay. Pool number four. Uh, I sent the invites out. We're going to give them like, you know, three or four minutes. See if they get in here. And if not, I'll just uh, move on to the next match, which will probably be Han Rashid versus Blue Linkies. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, who? I'm not even trying to disrespect y'all. I'm not trying to disrespect y'all, but I feel the Champions of the Realm, it had like, um, not to say the same players coming back, but we did have a lot of the same faces coming back. And that just shows that yeah. they were hungry for the competition. You know, like Aztec, 
he showed up to a large majority of these tournaments. We had players like Abyss, Han Rashid. All these guys are trying to get into that money. They're trying to get into that. Skill. Yeah, bearable yeah. skill. They're trying to get into that $3,000 pop bonus. And, you know, it's it's very refreshing when we see these these people like Blue Links, Blink, Blue Linkies or, or Evolvo and, you know, Guillotine and all these guys. Because it's, it's Do you think, do you think it's we're exciting. seeing some Heidi's, though? Possibly. After Dr. Dots, you never know you what know? to expect anymore Anything's coming possible. into this. Yeah. Anything's possible, 100%. No, the, uh, Evolvo and Guillotine are already here. They're going to fight on stream. Yo, Jukes is saying in the chat, was his stream against, or it was his match against Kerbo supposed to be on stream? Mary, is Jukes and Kerbo supposed to be on stream? No, okay. uh, Mary took you guys off. Yeah. All right, oh shit, I gotta set up the names. Who we got, Evolvo? Evolvo? Just, uh, I think it's Evil in, in Smash GG, but I guess I don't know how he wants it to be presented. Okay, here we go. Starting things off. I think, is it actually supposed to be pronounced guillotine? Thought it was guillotine, but it might be still guillotine. I think it's guillotine. Chicken gizzards? I don't know. I'm getting off. His name is Chicken right, Gizzards? One three into the slide. All right, it's settled. We got Chicken Gizzards versus Volvo from Soul Calibur. <laughs> this should be great. A lot of forward force happening on the stream, but down two from Guillotine. Splitting hair, Sindel. We're gonna be splitting them totos in right now. It ready. Bro, you're, lo you're losing your mind. Oh my god. Splitting hairs in full effect here. He's gonna catch him with the combo launcher. Goes for the back two, but it's gonna be blocked from Evol Evolove. 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 Nice counter there with the hair. Evolove. Evo. <laughs> Are you lost? Evolov three. Nice, the back forward two. Evil. I'm just gonna call him evil. Evolov. <laughs> Getting the slide, good stuff. Oh, wow. Nice counter there from Guillotine. All right, slide again, though. Definitely comeback potential here for evil. Evolvo. <laughs> the escape fail on the throw. You need to complete the round. Oh, wow. I was just about to get caught in the overhead, but the slide gets through. We're all tied up in the round. Crushing blow throw locked in loaded now for Evil. Evolvo. Wow. Risky teleport, but it works. Evolvo. Destroyer is malfunctioning. Oh, he opens it up. One, two. Evolve. Okay, very good Evolve. forward. Oh, nice. 4 to immediately into the slide. Oh my god. He's got fatal blow. He's, He's doing it. He's got fatal blow. Oh, no. Fatal blow. Oh no, he got the overhead again into the fatal blow combo. This is going to be the game. Explosive. Surely. This is explosive. going to stomp on his face to heal straight to the eyes. Noob Saibot said... Ay, mi madre. And that's gonna be a GG's guillotine taking the first game, going up one to zero. Oh, and Sidel's gonna laugh. She's gonna do a little spin. And look at that. Look at how pretty she is. Oh my God. Look at Sindel. So pretty. Sindel. Why are you gonna call her Sindel? That's nasty. That's, her name. that's a nasty name for her. Her name is Sindel. Don't call her that. That's literally her name. Do me a favor and don't call her that. Sindel. Big win there for Guillotine. Nicely done with the Fatal Blow. Evolvo. I think people are getting pissed that I got his name wrong. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, all right? Listen. He's re he's now rebranded to Evolvo. It's a good name. 
I think it's good. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where you got that extra O from. I also think there's two L's in guillotine. I think. I think. Really? I think. Well, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I'm not the one in charge of anything in this tournament. It's actually been Spanky Dude all along. I just watch over him, make sure he's doing things right. You know, and sometimes if he got the name fucked up, I'll let it slide because Spanky Dude doesn't know how to spell. So if he gets right. close, it's good enough. Spanky Dude is okay, I, I, Spanky. Spanky, don't cry, I Spanky. Can... Come on, Chad. Come on, guys. You, you got to stop with Spanky Dude. You got like you guys are you're getting on his case a little too much. He's bringing you some hype music. So I think that's good enough. Nicely done with the overhead. Into the hair flip, but that gets us up in the corner. Escape fill off that throw. And Sindel does have a crushing blow throw both ways as well. It's a lot of damage here, man. 29% guillotine. The great right now is putting in that work. Oh, that could have been huge. Evolvo. Two, two. Oh, what is he, he doing? Needle, put the attack. attack. He's still alive here, Caboose. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, what a throw. Incredible stuff there from Evil. Evolvo. 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 That was pretty. Evolvo. Wait, this is Crush. Oh my yep. god. She just got the stomach exploded. Diarrhea just came out of her butt. <laughs> Hold on. She's gonna go with the forward four. Into the up three. This is as close as it gets here. Evolvo is really trying to zone him out. He's trying to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> All those back twos. I couldn't keep a straight face with that one. Nice combo. Evil getting another slide in there. I'm assuming that back forward two crushing blow is ready. I think so. Attack on the throw. It might be. And now they're starting to block those overheads. Starting to look bad for guillotine and the back three into slide will do it. Evil now tying up this set. Evolvo, Evolvo, Evolvo. <laughs> I feel like he's a Pokemon and that's that's what he does. Yeah, the chat that sin diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, somebody give that guy a sub. Somebody, somebody give that guy a sub, please. Noob Cybot. Nobody's Volvo. Sindel. Dude, this is nuts. I'm telling you. You see, we got these two players. Nobody knows what's happening right now. We don't know yeah. where. Frank Woods is in the fucking in the chat right now. We don't know what's gonna happen between this set. What happened? Oh yeah, we we're getting off the hinges here. I mean, this is the final qualifier. This is this, this is, is it, man. Exactly. Final qualifier, and we're getting players like Evolvo. Fight. Nice teleport to start things off here in game number three. Way off the combo attempt, the overhead connects though. Guillotine gonna get a second opportunity. You get a nice 30% in oh, there. Oh no! The throw whips for Sindel, then the throw whips for Snoop Saibot, and the big down two crushing blow from Guillotine. Although, Evil definitely has an opportunity here to still come back. Very One nice. Confirmation. That's but it. That'll be the round. Guillotine one step closer from going up two to one against Evolvo. Can he do it? He's gonna go straight into the interactable. Guillotine does have Evolvo stuck in the corner right now. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna go for? He goes for the little baby scream. Blocking these back forward too. Whoa! Nice down two punish. Oh my god, right now back at you! Okay. No breakaway from Evil. Just gonna hit, just take those hits. He's gonna go right over. This is really good stuff. 
And Ooh, immediately going into blow. the fatal blow. I mean, he had to. He kind of had to at this point. Guillotine has all the chips in his favor. But the question yeah. is, what is Evolvo going to do at this moment here? Oh, my oh, God. Man. He's still got a chance here. He goes for the walk-up grab, and that Holy is going to do it. Guillotine going up 2-1 to one against Evolvo. That hair grab was really uh, dangerous. It was tough for Evil to deal with. Hey, let me let me give you let me put you in a situation. Okay. So, so you're on a date with Sindel, right? You guys uh -huh. go to like your local diner. You're sitting down uh -huh. having a cup of coffee. She orders the French toast, and you know, you guys uh -huh. are just talking. And the next thing you know, you you feel like hair touching your thigh, your inner thigh. Oh God. And then oh you look you look down and you see Sindel's hair just trying to get up in them pants. What, what are you gonna do? That's the scariest thing I think I, that's ever been described to me in my entire life. What are you gonna do in that situation, Caboose? I just start screaming in the middle of the diner. I start going, Evolvo, Evolvo, Evolvo. <laughs> <Sindel. laughs> Yeah. That's great. It says, you know what's so funny? That's exactly what I do. <laughs> Getting you to this next match here. Oh, my God. Guillotine versus the Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> Two to one. <laughs> Can this guy do it? Can Evolvo, oh, can Evolvo bounce back? Evolvo! Here we go. Can he bounce back? Game four, Evil has switched over to Johnny Cage. Using that Teen Wolf skin. It's coming oh. in here. There's the this time officially to get that crushing blow. <laughs> Bro, you think she's gonna go for the thigh that she just crushed and blows you? <laughs> She crushed him blows you just like what she did to Team Wolf. He's got it in the corner. Oh my god, the air flip right out of there. Tries to go for the overhead forward too, but nothing's home. Team Wolf right now is kind of amping up here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, good stuff so far from Evil. A little bit of a back and forth though. Evil, and each is in position to get that fatal blow confirmation if the opportunity presents itself. You got to be really careful. Okay, but it looks like he was able to get the run nicely done there from Evil. Evolvo! 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 Holy shit! What was that? Yo, you got a fan outside your window just screaming I that? Know, I don't know what the hell. I think that was like a like a like a bird. <laughs> here, here we go. The overhead connect for Guillotine. Man, Guillotine. I, I think he doesn't want to go to a two-two situation. He's trying to close this out now. Good down four. Four, four. A four, four again. The match point now for Guillotine. Match point now. That, that hey, Volvo. No, hey, Volvo's in trouble. Fight. Ooh, shutting down the screen. Very good stuff from me, Volvo. Just tossing every single green projectile he has. Ah! Oh, down to crush. Oh, he had the armor breaker in mind. No conversion. That not enough time. Big combo incoming from Guillotine. Almost 30%. The forward four, the throw. Evil. On his last lifeline. What does he do? Okay, punish. No, oh he God. missed the opportunity to. Went for the low. Gets caught again. Oh, and oh, my oh God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, 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 my God. What just happened? Why are you going to do that to Evolvo? Damn. Holy cannoli guillotine. You're going to slam me Volvo like if this was a goddamn party game. Unbelievable. That was insane. Very good stuff to guillotine advancing in this bracket. I don't what pool was that guy in? Uh let me check here in a second pool 4 I believe. Well, whatever 
whatever pool he was in, <laughs> Mary was spamming me in text. She, she, she was like, it's evil. Evil. It's evil. Yeah, he was saying that. It was Evolvo. You guys are dyslexic or something. <laughs> what the? All right, next match is going to be Han Rashid going up against Blue Linkies. <laughs> Hold on, uh, Guillotine oh. and Evolvo, please, if you guys can leave the King of the Hill lobby, thank you so much for your participation. You guys have been killing it today. You get these next invites out. This is an exciting one, man. Han Rashid, you know, this guy is coming in here, hopefully with the Fujin. You know, his Fujin has been out of this I world. Mean, every I every mean, week I he's mean, played. I mean. That Fujin is nuts. If we all remember going back, I think it was last week, when he was facing off against Pulse, that was just such a ridiculous comeback that he made. It's unfortunate he wasn't able to win that set, but I still believe and have a lot of faith in Han Rashid's ability to perform with that character. But yo, Guillotine, I don't know if you're watching the stream. If you don't mind, please leave Ooh, in the game. Big Daddy G. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go. Our next match about to be underway between Blue Linkies and uh, and Han Rashid. Just, is it like is it supposed to be just like Blue Link? Blue Linkies just sounds... I don't know, man. Do you... I don't know. These players that are making a debut on the Champions of the Realm are getting a little out of control here. A little bit. The Blue Linkies is going to be rocking that spawn. Han Rashid actually picking uh, Johnny Cage. Catches the jump in. Taking a picture. You can't you can't miss the opportunity to get a picture of spawn. No way. I don't blame Johnny there. No way. Ooh. Trying to hit him with the overhead. Hold on, is this the last match until we get into the top eight? I mean, the top 16? I think it is. Me? No, 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 because the winner of this goes to face off. I mean, it depends if we're we're not streaming any other winner semifinal matches, right? No, I don't think so. Then yeah, potentially. But okay, big round there for Han Rashid. Playing super well with his Johnny. Blue Linky stuck in the corner now. No conversion off that low. All right, very good stuff. He's gonna get the grab tag. I just realized Blue Link Linky's is playing with spawn. Yeah, Ooh, good you block. just got there. I just got. No, I was right here focusing on this damn. Yo, you know what's heartbreaking, bro? I'm actually kind of depressed about this one. Aztec. What? He, he's, he fell short this tournament, man. He's going to be getting sent to the oh, losers. Man. Aztec had quite the story in this series, bro. Well, he's not out, right? He just said he went to losers. Yeah, he's in losers right now, fighting for his life. I believe. I still believe. Nicely done there with the War Club. Blue Linky still has an opportunity. Needs to get around on the board here. That empty jump. Look at the pressure. The chip damage. And that'll oh, wow. be the game. Han Rashid takes game number one using this Johnny Cage. No Teen Wolf skin. I don't know how to feel about it. Well, Han Rashid drawing first blood against Blue Linkies. One game away from getting into that winner's final. This guy must be feeling good here. And Han Rashid, you know, not pulling out the Fujin. That's... Pretty surprising, if you ask me. I agree. I agree. Maybe he just knew going into a spawn matchup that this Johnny would just work out better. Scorpion, new Maybe he's saving the Johnny Fusion to see if he ever gets in some trouble in a set. That's the character that he wants to go to in a scenario like that. Although we see now Blue Linky's switching over to Noob Cybot, aka the greatest character in Mortal Kombat history. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yes, sir. Game number two about to go underway. And already, man, with these just these two character picks alone, you kind of get a taste of uh, what Blue Linky's likes. He likes those demonic type characters, you know? Yeah. Yes, actually. Very in theme. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jump in. I'm driving. Jump in three. Oh, he's going to get a nice whip on his blue linkies. Already looking a lot more comfortable with the new Cybot switch. 
Nice flawless block. Oh no, DJ Spanky Doodle updating us with some unfortunate news. Mr. Aquaman is going to fall victim to Titanium Tigers 3 1, falling oh, short no. on that top 16. He's still in the loser side, but he's got one hell of a loser side bracket he got, he's got to go through. Holy shit. I'll be really excited though to watch his bot, see the run that he's making there. The 1 1 3 confirm into Fatal Blow, and that's going to be the round for Blue Linkies now. Just like you said, way more comfortable with his noob side pick than he was with the spawn. Although, if we do see a lost game from Han Rashid, I can see him immediately making the switch over to, to Fujin. Okay, good blocks. Han Rashid has the corner positioning here, but Blue Linkies, he's playing very well with his back to the corner there, man. I'm loving the, the play style here. Very defensive, not overextending, but Han Rashid is going to kind of force him to open up here any second now. He's going to go for the down two. Oh my god, the poke just to keep Blue Linksies in check. Wow! Oh, went... That was a punish, bro! Yeah, he went for that slide and got uh, essentially whip punished for it. Say cheese, bitch! Big comeback round right now for Han Rashid as the down one connects. Not my contract. Final round. Final. Blue Linky's been in this corner for a majority of this game. Good anti air with the down four. I like what I'm seeing. Wanted that slide. Couldn't get it to connect. Back one into the amplified slide, keeping himself safe. Empty jumps. Down fours. Two, one, two. Back one, one plus three. You gotta be careful. I think that actually is punishable. If Johnny went for a shadow kick. All right, very good down poke. Goes for another down poke. Blue Linkies has not left this corner for like 10 minutes. No, seriously, dude. I mean, but even though he's been in that corner for 10 minutes, look at the life lead. He has Keep the life lead. And that that's just Noob Saibot in general. Noob Saibot... He, he wants to reel you in, you know? He wants to reel you in just so he can just chip the shit out of your life bar and just put you right back to a full screen position. That's true. That slide really keeps you in check. But now that Hunter Sheet has pulled the ditch, good meat stuff. That's going to be, oh, no, not he did, I low. thought he had it. He, hit, wow, he threw like a sure. million slides. Not for sure. Not a lot of time left in the amplified slide. I'll do it. Blue Linky's going to tie this set up again. I see Han Rashida immediately switching over to the Fujinistics now. Oh, yeah. I think that mobility is going to play a huge factor in this matchup here, especially the way Blue Linkies is just... He's just using those shadows so well. Unreal. Unreal yeah, you're, you're engine 4.0. Right you're absolutely right about that, though. And Blue Link's like just staying in that corner. He just... He waits for Han Rashid to make a mistake, or at least waits for Han Rashid to try and dash in. And that slide just keeps you in check, man. Yeah, he, yeah he, he's playing like the best he can with, with your back against the corner. And I feel like a character like Noob Saibot, seeing double specifically, is just perfect at that game. You can put the character anywhere on the screen, and he's going to just play his game plan. He's going to keep doing what he does. No matter where Noob Saibot is, he just keep doing his shit. He just keep taking his shit on the floor. <laughs> he goes... Exactly. That's how oh, it was. Very That's nice. Exactly. The back two. Hold on. He's going to drag him in. And you'll suffer from the smell. Oh. Boraito. Boraito's making a return. Boraito Motaro, the DLC return. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> into the back two there. The back three into slide. Good stuff. Luigi's still, still keeping up. Even against Han Rashid's uh, Fujinistic here. Good blocks from from Han Rashid. He's gonna answer back with a throw. He's got a pretty convincing life lead here, man. Blue Linkies is gonna have to work twice as hard if he's gonna want to make this comeback. I think that's the GG's and taking the round. You are no challenge. Round two. Good round there for Han Rashid with the Fujin. Definitely back to form. Look for the Ooh. four three. Punished for it. The ghost ball. 
Oh no, he doesn't block the end of that. Otherwise, he could have got another punish opportunity. Wake up. Oh my goodness, a flawless lock there from Han Rashid. Once again, making Blue Linky's home in the corner. But now a good throw, switching sides. But the wake up roll switches sides once again. And Blue Linky is right back in that corner, but another slide connects. Bro, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter where Blue Linky is. He's going to play his damn game no matter what. It literally, he's just stationary the entire time and he's winning. <laughs> he really has been moving too much in general. You're right. Oh my god. Coming though from Han Rashid. He needs one last hit. Back to the slide again. Blue Linky's got to play so oh, in here. That could have been it, Blue Linky. Oh, he gets it low. No confirmed. Oh god. Oh, the throw. He's still alive. Not enough. Not enough. Oh! oh! What? How did he dodge that crossbow? That was so sick! Fight. Holy shit! Wow! Blue Linkies with the Hail Mary teleport! They're still oh, fighting, they're big. still fighting. He wakes up with the 1-1, one, one. gonna knock him out of the air. Oh, here we go. The counter from Han Rashid. He has a pretty juicy life lead here. But wait a minute, Blue Link. He's going to tie it up just like that. Oh, flawless block. Blue Link's got to play oh, real safe. Punish. Oh, the <laughs> they, they traded. A 1-1-3 one, one, and a fatal blow will do it, Destroyer. Oh, my God. You are so right about that. Keeping it safe, and he's not a do it! Blue no, Linkies! They get game enough. number three! Is that enough? That's enough, dude! Are you kidding me? Oh, no way! I don't think so! Oh my god! I don't think so! Oh my Hunter god! Hunter still in it on the magic pixel! Oh my god! Oh god, Blue Linkies just holding block. Oh god. Oh god! Back one in the slide! Blue Linkies is gonna go up in this set! I thought it was over, dude! I thought it was fucking over! Oh my god! I that, was waiting. I was waiting for the one set that was gonna bring us hype levels like that in this week. That fatal there blow was. at the end there, everything was just like, it scaled horrendously. I don't think that it scaled, it's just that fatal blows like raw usually do around that amount of damage. Plus, there was a couple of shields that I was seeing in there. And I wonder in a scenario specifically like that, where Han Rashid's on magic pixel at the end of the Fatal Blow, if that's what's the difference maker. My goodness. What a set. What a set indeed. Blue Linky's now in, in, in the advantage here. Gonna be up two to one against Han Rashid. Dude, how the tides have turned. I did not see this coming at all, Caboose. It happened, like, in the blink of an eye. Holy. And as well, that was the game where he got that clutch round Three, win off of the teleport, four. just narrowly avoiding the crossbow. Yeah. Slide. I don't know who Blue Linkies is. I have This is not a household name for me, at least. I'm not familiar. But right now, they're playing extremely well. I love it. Yeah, this is really good stuff here. He's gonna catch him with the grab. Blue Linkies, man, he is really feeling it. What a punish nice from Han Rashid. That was so smart. Amplifying it just in time to catch the punish on that projectile. Whoa! Oh, that was... Back two strings. I mean, Blue Link Blinkies does have the big life lead here. And Rashid is gonna have to go on overdrive if he's gonna wanna make this work. Whoa! That oh, did oh. not look like it was supposed to happen. He he, he canceled and got oh fatal blow. God. Wake up up two off the flawless block. Oh and he's going to get the fatal blow confirmation. And Rashid, dude, this guy literally ascends every single time we see him playing in this tournament. He is a madman. Very good I stuff. I will not fail. Round two, fight. Patience between Ooh, nice. these two players. Got one into the short hop. Oh, wow. Han Rashid is starting to ascend. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. I'm driving. I'm driving. Fuck it. I'm driving. 
on Rashid is starting to ascend. Destroyer. Destroyer. Yeah, he's popping on off. On Rashid bro. is popping off. I actually have my, complete I had my eyes closed that entire that entire set. Holy smokes. <laughs> Moving at the speed of the flash as he takes that game and sends us to a game five. Yo, and you know, I'm actually very thankful for a player like Han Rashid because we don't see many of these top level players, you know, taking control of these new characters, Fujin Shiva and uh fucking Kaki Peo Cop over here. And you know, you, you see this guy <laughs> <laughs> you see this guy, Han Rashid, you know, and, and Hayate as well, coming in with Fujin, doing shit we've never seen before, Fujin. making the character look greater than ever, you know? And I just got to say shout outs to these players for putting this stuff asked. into full effect. I could, have, I could have not asked for a better set in this final week for Champions of the Realms pool play. No, no way. I know the chat is hyped. I know you're hyped, Destroyer. I'm hyped. This also, has just been awesome. The boots, we gotta give a huge shout out to the woman behind the scene. The woman that yes. makes this all function properly, man. Mary motherfucking Luna. Can we get some, uh, what is it? Exclamation point Mary in the chat? Definitely get an exclamation point Mary in chat. Make sure you're following her. She is the backbone of the tournament, the one who helps these tournaments run as smoothly as they do. And also the one, make sure that you go to if you're ever having any issues. In your, pool, in your pools or anything like that through yes. Smash GG. She's the admin running stuff. Big shout out to her. Dude, this is it. Final game here. Blue Linkies versus Han Rashid. Who's going to take it? The infamous question. One in the chat for Han Rashid. Two in the chat for Blue Linkies. Yo, three in the chat if I mean, no. was nightmare. I'm going with 300%. You know there's a way to put polls. I got to learn how to set up the polls. Oh, yeah. I saw your mods were able to do that. I don't yeah. know if any of the mods can set that up. Make a little poll action in the chat. Nice down one there. Match point now for Han Rashid. Oh, man. You know what? Scrap the poll. It's too late for that. <laughs> oh, crushing blow. Nice. Wow. The setup from Han Rashid is just so crazy. He's got a flawless round right now. Blue Link, he's got a lot of work to do. 1-1-3, one, one, back 1-1 one, one, plus 3. Oh no, has to break away, gets caught by the down 2, wait a second! Okay, 1-1-3 one, one, into Fatal Blow. This is desperation, but it's still going to be good damage, and it's going to close this life lead a little bit. And this barely scales too, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be upwards of 40%, yes indeed. He can make this happen, isn't it? Oh jeez, jeez. Oh. <laughs> wow, what a call out from Han Rashid, bro. Shutting him down. Oh my god. When Han Rashid, I think he went into the avatar state. Like, like the end of that, that game. Or the end of what was it, game three? I can't remember. One of those. Where he lost and he had to switch to Fujin. It was yeah. like, it was like he went into the avatar state. Always, he always gets into the Avatar and, State. And I just, mean, and he just starts ascending. No, I, he literally made one of the most god tier comebacks we've ever seen. I mean, Han Rashid blew oh, our minds. Oh, one of the craziest comebacks, and now he's gonna earn him. Wait, that was not for a top sixteen. No, I, yeah, he needs no. to go for one more match. But we're gonna get started with the top sixteen matches, anyways. Huge shout outs to Han Rashid, uh, getting one step closer to that. And boy, oh boy, Caboose does yeah. this top sixteen look stacked as hell. The, yeah, the top 16 is insane. Are we taking a look at the brackets, or you want to do that after the fact? Oh, yeah, yeah, let, let's, let's, take, let's take a look at the brackets real fast. Let's uh, take a look real quick. I can see right now. Hold on. Uh, that was uh, pool one that we were in, right? Yeah, that was pool one. So, so pool one, Hammer Sheet's going to advance over to face off against the Road Warrior. Winner of that's going to move on to the top 16 to fight So Sick Nash fan. Pool number two. I'm sorry, these matches are juicy. Check it out. We got Kerbalicious versus Titanium Tigers. Ooh. Winner of that is going to get into the top eight that's going down this Friday on Caboose's channel. 6 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Eastern. Pool number three. We got Honeybee going up against Pulse. Holy shit. That's insane. And then pool number four, we got Biohazard, who will be facing off against the 
Big Daddy G. So that's going to be another ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Champions of the Realms. This is week eight. We are in the pool play of the final week qualifier for this tournament. You guys just saw some insanity, and it's only going to get more crazy as we now move in to the matches that are in our top 16 of the pool play. The importance of these matches is that everybody who wins from here on, from here on out will be moving on to the top eight that takes place this Friday. Twitch.tv slash Caboose right here, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Destroyer, how you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. We're getting into the top 16, uh, top 16 of things right now. It was a little tongue twister right there. And it is going to be insanity. We're going to be starting from the bottom to the top of the pools, if you guys are yep. keeping up with the brackets. So right now, we're getting into our pool four top 16 match for tonight, which is going to be I'm Big Daddy G going up against Biohazard. We're going to get game one, number one underway between Big Daddy G and Biohazard, the first match in our top 16 for Champions of the Realms. Once again, the winner of this match moves on to the top eight, the final top eight on that winner's side. A lot on the line here for these players. They are battling to make it into that finale, battling to get a piece of that $3,000 prize pool. As I do believe for the finale, everyone in top eight is getting a payout. So. You're yeah. getting some money if Three, you make it $3, in there. Three thousand dollars. Like first place is gonna get a fat chunk. I'll be doing. We'll, 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 me, Caboose, and the team. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna do the right. prize breakout. But we want the entire top eight to get paid. So you guys all mm -hmm. made it there for a reason. You know, it'd be fucked up. You had to go through one of these qualifiers and get in there empty-handed. Exactly. So you're definitely exactly. gonna get treated well. But top one is gonna be where you want to get in that finale top eight. Here we go now. Match number one underway. Still mad as a cat snake. Oh, noise, bad attacker. That was the intro. He came in, he said, noise, bad, noise, noise, bad. And Sonya run the rounds, he said, shut up, bitch. Wow. We shouldn't have talked over it. I would love to hear that. That was it. <laughs> I gave it for you guys. Nice combo there from Big Daddy G. He's gonna get the throat to connect. He said, oh, you go, noise, bad, attacker. Noise, noise, bad, noise, bad, noise. And she said, shut up. Fetch. That was the outro. That was the intro. What, the is, outro. Uh, what is Sonya looking like? She's or sound like she's about to be on the Jersey Shore. There's Ronda Rousey, not Sonya. Oh, okay. Sorry. Daddy G in that fatable territory, but right now Biohazard all over him. The projectiles. Daddy G got projectiles in zone. Oh, went for the cancel into the fatal blow, but Bio was ready for it. Very good stuff. The eyes started malfunctioning. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, he started tripping so, out. He said, no, no, noise, no, 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 noise, bed, no, noise, bed. <laughs> oh, A very good nice. Throw once again. He's got the zoning in check. The overhead projectile coming down from the air. What is going to happen here? Taking a step back. Big Daddy G fishing for a punish. Ooh, the blocks, the command grab. Biohazard. Grabs are doing a ton of damage. Another oh, there it is grab. again. Oh! No! Was that short hop? That short hop did not avoid the kick. Did it avoid the kick? I don't know. Nice flawless block there from Bio. A bit dangerous to go for it. They got caught by a crushing blow. There's another command grab to land. Flawless block. Oh my god. These command grabs. Good throw. Very good Daddy throw. He's still in this. Hold the overhead. Oh, in the interact or the projectile. He's got the zoning in play. Another overhead. Got it again. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Unfit. We're going to a final round on this first game. So much intensity. Let's tackle you. Goes for the standing one stagger. Try to catch him. Slip him a bio. Such a professional player. Ready for everything. Oh my god, oh, he's gonna no. open him up. Big Daddy G's in big trouble. That hurts. The wake up roll. Biohazard gonna continue the onslaught. Oh, another good flawless command round grab. so far. Oh, a flawless block off the cross up attempt. But wait a second, Big Daddy G has a second opportunity now. Let's see if they're gonna be able to capitalize on it. Oh, that's a whip punish, but no. And the amplification on the Kano ball. He had to block that. He did. He did. He got a little too carried away. Probably tried to go for the punish immediately once he saw the Kano Ball animation finish. But Bio had the the meter burn ready for him. Very you know what unfortunate. I think what? 
I think I think Bio went for the Kano ball, and then Big Daddy G thought the amplification wasn't gonna, gonna come out, and then Bio went, Evolvo, Evolvo, and then the amplification what? came out. So you're telling me Bio is teammates with Evolvo? Yeah. I did not see you that one know? coming, no. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> that was the biggest surprise of the whole series. Man, Biohazard taking game number one in the first match for the top 16. One step closer getting into that top eight spot. Will Bio be able to close this out here? Or will Big Daddy G evolve into Evolvo and finish him now and here? This is huge. All right, just going to start the match off with a neutral jump. I don't know what Big Daddy G was looking for, but he's going to go right into a nice combo. Answering nice back. Evolvo. Evolvo. Oh, my oh, God. Big, crush. big boy crush and blow out of nowhere. He's just zoning out here. Really good punish coming here from Biohazard. Catching out on big Evolvo damage. Oh my god, more Evolvo damage on the table. This Evolvo, <laughs> this guy is just going crazy. <laughs> the nice tech on the throw. Wait a second. Oh, Daddy G has an opportunity. Wallace block. Down one body. He triple boarded. He got the defensive here just in time. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Biohazard went for the amplified Kano ball, and the defensive meter came back at the literal last possible second to give Chip avoidance for Big Daddy G, and he got the fatal blow. He got the Evolvo. Holy smokes. Oh he got the Evolvo. Oh my god, they're trading back and forth right now. I don't know what's happening here. This is too much for me to handle. The overhead's gonna connect. Gonna kick her on the top of the head, removing the ponytail. Nice. Deca. Noise, bitter. Noise, bit noise. What's going on here? He's gonna go with the blade toss. You got DJ Khaled in the background. He said, Wee the Wee. What? What does he sound like Wee he's the Alvin and the Chipmunks? Why are you playing the Alvin and the Chipmunks version? I'm not. <laughs> that was DJ Khaled in the flesh that okay. just said that. Okay. Nice. Ready to blade. Ready to blade. Forward four there from Bio. Jumping in but gets caught. That's a throw counter. Throw damage is adding up. Won't be adding up as much though when uh, whenever we get a uh, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 11. Sorry, UMK11, you're right. Whoa. Nice, Wallace block up two off the cross up there from Big Daddy G. Looking to try and capitalize now. Is the comeback here. There's no fatal blow. Oh, but that command grab. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No way. No way. Jobs, jobs, jobs. No, no way. way. No way. No way. Nice bit attacker. No way. No way. Jobs a job. No way. A job's a job indeed. Biohazard now goes up 2-0 in this set. No way. I don't know what this guy's going to do. I think uh, Big Daddy G is going to have to pull out a Big Daddy Dookie or something because... Smith, I don't know. This guy's down 2-0. <laughs> this guy's down 2-0 against Biohazard in the top 16. <laughs> One more game for Bio is going to be sending Big Daddy Totinski straight to the loser side. And he's going to have a Kakipeo salad waiting for him in the losers. And honestly, ain't nobody's looking forward to a Kakipeo salad for the loser side. You feel me? Here we go. Game number three. E game for Big Daddy G. Nice. Oh, had to punish. Could have got a little more out of it. Very nice. Gonna open him up, but hold on. 
not going for the full the full confirmation there. Oh my oh, god. Oh man. You know, Kano's having his way with Sonya right now, and I'm sure Bio as hell is the pain. he is loving this. Bio is bringing the pain. Escape fell off the throw as well, which sets up a crushing blow into the next round. My goodness. Nice throw, escape fail, there's the crushing blow. Okay, okay, Biohazard. Couple touches away from closing this out and getting a spot into the top eight winner side for this Friday. Good throw. Okay. Yo, Big Daddy's really fighting back here. Got an opportunity, hop. the short hop counters. Flawless block off of that projectile. Bio took no chip damage. Beautiful. He went for the stagger. He's but still dead. alive. Yeah, he's still alive here. He's going to go for the full string. And just oh like that. Oh, my goodness. Just like that. How does Bio make a confirm like that, bro? Was that just like a ballsy read? Or how does he make that confirm happen? I, I truly, I don't know. But Biohazard moves on now to the top eight. The last top eight that we'll have before the finale for Champions of the Realm. And he's moving on on the winner's side. Big Daddy G not out of it though. Still has an opportunity to run it he back said, he to said. the user side of K the bracket. Kano said, Kano said, Oi, Sonya, you want my sausage? She said, El Kano, you're fucking disgusting. He said, no, you stupid bitch. I mean a real sausage. Look, I'm cooking sausages. You see? I'm cooking sausages, Sonya. You're acting like a crazy piece of shit, Sonya. She says, stupid idiot. I'm over it. Oh, that, that didn't happen? Oh, that didn't, ha that didn't happen? Well, so, so, so why you told, why you told me that happened? I don't. <laughs> that, I'm going to the next match. We're going, we're going to the next match, guys, because it's the next match is going to be pull I'm enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? What is it? All right, next match is going to be Honeybee versus Pulse. Invites are being sent out right now. Honeybee. Commander. Versus Pulse NYC. Now, look, I'm a big fan of Pulse, you know, out here repping the NYC. This guy coming in with a wide array of characters. And I don't know. Every time we see him make an appearance in the Why Champions of the Cube. It's probably just an accident, but we'll 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 reset that. Yeah. But um um, what was I saying? Yeah, every time we see Pulse making a, a, a debut in this tournament, man, or an appearance in general, this guy, he's always popping off. Always popping off. Yep. I mean, you even, like, if we're talking about, you know, obviously, Han Rashid, one of the greatest comebacks we've seen, had it against Pulse. But even in that set, Pulse went down 2-0 and reverse 3-0 comeback to make it, like, to move forward in that tournament. So, like... He, he is still an, an extremely great player. Uh, I think we need Big Daddy G to leave the game so then we can oh have... Oh, my God. You're right. Some honeybee play. Hold on. Let me turn on my mic here. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Right. Thank you for the cooperation, my friends. Thank you. No You're I all great peoples. All right, no let's I get into this. Jacka. So we just saw... Uh, the brother of Honeybee, Biohazard, to make it into the top eight now. You gotta wonder if Honeybee makes it into the top eight as well. That'd be awesome. Things are gonna get really, it, it is gonna be awesome. It's gonna get really interesting. I love the way the pools were set up where it had Honeybee and Bio literally back to back. You know, these two players, yeah. like, they, they got the momentum. Bio just saw his brother make the top eight winners. You know, he's not gonna be nothing less, but more motivated than ever to do the same. Yep. But he is going up against Pulse. This guy is no joke. 
Oh, no doubt. This is not going to be easy. Pulse is no slouch, rocking the Kung Lao. As we get into game number one, the hat toss to start things off and a wake up to counter from Bio, or sorry, from Honeybee. Not Biohazard. Honeybee stuck in this corner now. Is the tendrils. Good tech. Oh, he's got him locked down in the corner here. I'm liking this pressure from Pulse. He's going to force Honeybee to break away early on. Oh my god, he's going to open him up. Relentless right now. Playing really well here. Oh, 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 oh shit. He shut down oh the Panic god. Fatal Blow, bro. This should be interesting. I mean, I, I wonder what Honeybee was thinking there as well. He would have gone for the Fatal Blow. Maybe trying to, to shift the momentum of that round. But right now, Pulse has all the momentum in the world with this onslaught of attacks. He said, for the Wuxi. Yeah, this guy's popping the fuck off. You got Baraka in the background, arms crossed. He said, why is he popping off? Does he still want the cookie? No. The cookie monster? No, he doesn't want it. Okay. That, that Cookie Monster Barack is actually his cousin. That that wasn't that was Baraka's cousin. Oh, that's a different Tarkatan. That's a different Tarkatan. Oh, that's my bad. Ooh. Hold on. He jumps over. Nice jump in. Pulse. Oh, the neutral jump. Dude jumps all over the place right now. Nice. But Honeybee gonna emerge oh. victorious. He oh, jumps no. are far more superior. No. no. Honeybee missed some opportunities there to confirm into Fatal Blow, and Pulse takes advantage to get game number one. Very good stuff, man. Very good stuff. Pulse early on going to take game number one on Honeybee. That is definitely drawing a line there. You know, he is cementing his dominance here, Caboose. He's like, I'm here. I'm here to kill you. Ah! You know, Arnold's really pissed that you did that. What? He's, he's... Why? Yo, Arnold, chill, chill. I didn't do it. Arnold, I didn't do it. I... What do you mean? He's leaving. No, no, no. Tell him I'm sorry. I, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. He left. He left. Are you he kidding just, me, bro? Just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling he him. Just, he just got in the private jet. I'm calling him. He just him. got in the private jet. Arnold, what's all that noise I'm hearing? You're in a private jet? No, man. Get off, man. Come on, bro. What are you, running man to the private jet? Dude, he left. He just impulsed my ear. <laughs> oh, man. Well, here we go. He just put a frequency through my phone that made me deaf. Well, I warned you, man. What? I warned you. You pissed him off. What'd you say? I warned him you pissed him off. Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna commentate since I can't hear anything. All right, he's gonna take a back. He's gonna take a back step. Duck another projectile. <laughs> okay, there's a neutral jump. Honeybee gonna get some good hits in. Somebody uh, cashed in 3,000 channel points for me to hydrate, so I'm gonna do exactly that. Wait, you gotta do it on camera. You gotta do it on camera. <laughs> nope. Nope. Whoa. <laughs> It's gonna happen right there in the moment. He hydrated. I, I can assure you, he hydrated. There's a tendrils keeping it amplified for the safety. Oh my god, the fatal blow breaks the armor. This is really wow. good. Wow. This is really good Pulse. stuff. One path is what is Honeybee gonna do, bro? He's in Ooh, trouble. Shit. We got freaking IP man right now just putting all the pressure in the building. It man. Eat man. Nice throw there from Honeybee. Not out of this. There's plenty of opportunities to come back. Gets the jump in. There's the neutral jump. Let's see if Ip man is going to be able to do something about this. Oh, he opens him up with the counter punish. This is brutal. Holy shit. I down two. Whoa. Okay. Honeybee, getting some good hits in now. Eat, man. I don't know what that was. The overhead, the throw connect. Paul still has an opportunity to close this game out. Gets another throw, escape fail there. Oh, that's crush? Bro. Was there an escape fail that I missed? 
Oh you, my god! Definitely, there definitely was an escape field that you missed. Oh Bro. my god! Honeybee is down 2-0 against Pulse right now. This man is looking unstoppable. I don't know what Honeybee is going to do here. I mean, we've seen him make the reverse 3-0 in situations like this before. So, he's definitely not out of it just yet. Definitely not he's, out of it. He's certainly capable. If there is anybody that we've seen who has competed at such a high level so consistently throughout the entirety of Champions of the Realms, it's Honeybee with this Devora. So I know he's certainly capable of making this reverse 3-0. Man, this, this got me real nervous right here, you know? I didn't even, I didn't even see... Was the escape fail before that that first throw in the corner? I am I was confused. I don't know. I got to watch the VOD and see where it was. But that was crazy. Great win for Pulse. Fight. Let's see if he can bounce back here. Honeybee, definitely capable of doing this, man. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Already starting off very strong. He's going to catch Pulse. He's gonna put him in the in the web. Very good stuff. Again, it's catching it. him again. This is what he needs. Guaranteed damage as well. Probably gonna go into the restand. Yes, indeed. Oh, following up, he got a hit in, but he misses with the tendril attack. Damn. Beautiful combo there from Pulse. Gets the throw in now. I'm looking. I'm I'm hyper focused now to see if there's any escape fails. Gets a jump in. Okay. And that's a guaranteed round there for Honeybee. Beautiful stuff. This is uh this is what I like to see. I like this a lot. Oh, ducking oh, under the time crystal. Yeah, that time crystal could have been explosive damage right there. Beautiful. Gonna counter the ghetto, bro. Putting him right back in the corner. Pulse. Oh wow. these neutral jumps. That's one of Devorah's most powerful tools is her jumping. Good grab. Nice throw. Getting no in the escape I didn't see it. I didn't see it. He's gonna open him up, man. This is not good. This is not what Honeybee needs at this moment. If Paul ends up taking this round, bro, the pressure is on. I mean, the pressure's already been on, but... Yes. He'd be on his last <laughs> life at that point. Honeybee wants the cushion of just getting this game, having a game on the board, and the Whoa. set. Oh, what a beautiful! This could be GG's. I think he's dead here. He's Honey gonna get the breakaway. He's gonna get. Oh, he needed the armor breaker, but he's gonna get the tendrils guaranteed chip damage. Honeybee's got a game. We have ourselves a set, ladies and gentlemen. It's not gonna be an easy 3-0 for Paul. This is all Honeybee needed as well, man. Like, Honeybee's like a shark, you know. He draws that blood, he's gonna smell it, and he's gonna fish out to close it. He's gonna wanna yeah. close this set out, he's gonna be thirsty for it. Pulse yes, might have just done fucked up giving him that game. Oh snap, Mr. Aquaman with the raid. Welcome everybody, I hope you all enjoyed the hype that Mr. Aquaman brought to this tournament. I don't know, did, did Mr. Aquaman make his run on the loser side? Well, if he's dropping the raid, I'm gonna go ahead and assume his run's over, but Mr. Aquaman, thank you so much, bro. I hope you had a blast competing in the Champions of the Realm. And he said, I ranted too long, but good luck. Oh, thanks for the love. <laughs> hey, Mr. Aquaman, thank you, man. Thank you for the love, brother. Really appreciate it, bro. Yo, I'm super hyped to see you play with Rain, man. I'm super hyped to see what you're going to do with that character. Oh, it's going to be but dope. Thank you again. That's going to be dope. You're the man at disgusting intro Fight. from Devora. He said, Pop Tart 96430, rock me in the mirror. Oh no. He said, Look out for him. Holy shit. Okay. Fucking Pop Tart. You know that's got to be a high Hey, Ms. Rockman, next time we're going to DQ those Pop Tart players. <laughs> All right, very good. Pulse. He's got a really good opener here. He's going to put him down to the ground. He's got him a lot down in this left side of the screen, but Honeybee fighting back. Nice. Honeybee gets the side switch. No amplification. Just look for the combo ender. Went for a little short hop. Those neutral jumps so threatening. Oh, oh nice double no! amplification. Gets the hit. Is this the round? I, I don't think so. Maybe. It might not be. Maybe. It might not be. I think it I is. I should wait. 
Oh my oh, god! Yes. yes, it Get is. This oh my god. Get out of here, dude! Pulse. That, that comeback was disgusting, uh, Mr. Aquaman. You're nuts. You're nuts, but okay, here we go. Pulse now on match point for this set. No! Oh no, that's a punish. That was a maniac move being down. Uh, you know, you gotta take chances. I don't blame him going I for think, it. I think so. Yeah, is he gonna go for the crushing blow? No. He, I, he, he has bugs. Yeah, no, he does. I don't think he, he think he doesn't think it's useful for just one bug attached. He wants that damage. Yeah, okay, well, there's a second bug. Beautiful oh, nice. jump encounter. That was literally jump flawless. In. One of the greatest so jump ins I've ever seen in Mortal Kombat. What a combo from Honeybee. Yep. Down ones into the tendril, sends it to a final round. He is not out of this by any means. And now, just as you mentioned, didn't go for that crushing blow throw. Nope. He has three bugs attached this time. No. That's going to be huge four. damage he if he lands that bugs. fourth throw. Is there four? Oh, no, no I see I the bug see on her. I see the bug oh, on Oh, no, her. that is. No, I, that might be four. I don't know. If there's a lot of bugs, if the throw's going to do a lot of damage, is what we're trying to say. Basically, yes, Honeybee in a beautiful position here. He's gonna go. He, he's got to go for the setup. Huge. He's got to make him fear the throw and then mix him up with like a lower and overhead. Overhead. Oh, he goes for the and down. Fax destroyer. Oh, the quick air to air there from Paul's. Double amplification again, but this time Honeybee was in the air. This is way too close right now. Not like oh, this. Oh no. He goes for the restand instead of the combo. I can't watch. Oh, oh no. no. He's wait. still alive. He wake up rolls and, and the jump kick will out. do it. Pulse moves on to the top eight. Congratulations to Pulse, man. And he's gonna play with the choo-choo train. <laughs> it's a choo-choo. <laughs> choo-choo, choo-choo. <laughs> choo-choo. All right, Kung Lao, settle down. You big baby. It's Kung Lao. He's over here playing choo-choo trains, man. Get the fuck off of my foot, Kung Lao. I told you I'm not playing Choo Choo Trains with you, and that's final! <laughs> Great set. Big ups to Honeybee. Again, same situation as the last set that we just saw. That's not going to be the end of Honeybee's run. Still has another opportunity, another chance in that loser side of the bracket to run it back and make it into the top eight. But Pulse will be moving on to take it, to make his way into the top eight, the final top eight for this tournament before the finale. Our next match, Destroyer, I believe, is it Kerbalicious against Titanium Tigers? Yes, it is. Woo. Man, oh man, that is have these matches for the uh, top 16 uh, to make it into the top eight. They, they've been insane, dude. Starting from the top to the bottom, it was kind of unfortunate we didn't see the, the two brothers get into that winner's, um, that winner's top eight spot. But yeah. Honeybee definitely still has a shot to make it into that top eight. He's got to fight his way through a brutal loser's bracket. You know, this is the final qualifier. So these players are going to be hungry. And not to mention, Console Gaming League is also providing a 150 prize pop bonus for each week. You know, this is the final week. So yep. top three will be walking away with some money. And top one will be walking away with the ultimate prize. And that's getting into the finale. Just wait, actually, the player that gets into the finale today is gonna kind of get like a double prize, you know, since you're guaranteed some money in the finale, they're gonna yep. be happy as shit. Yeah, 70, 75 bucks plus you're getting into the finale and getting a piece of that prize pool as well. You're walking away with some good money if you make it into the finale for this final week. So let's see what happens as we get into our third match, the second to last one for tonight's pool play until the top eight this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. We got Titanium Tigers against Kerbalicious. I want to see non-stop in the chat right now for about 30 seconds. I want to see Kabalan. I want to see Too Slow. I want to see Got the Spins. And I want to see your hook. Hold on. We do have uh, we, we do have Cetrion on the screen. So can we get a, a line of Hiya! 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 What is she, a Power Ranger? She does that, bro. Don't play with me. Fight. <laughs> All right, Kerbalicious. Getting caught by this throw. Titanium Tigers off to a good start. There's those projectiles. The zoning play. Oh, nice air projectile there from Kerbo. 
again now. Very nice stuff. The back and forth. He's going to get the punish right off the bat. Titanium Tiger's taking a step back. Going to go for the flame burner. Ooh. He's tossing Dude, the way that, The way that, like, whatever it is, the tentacles or whatever that grab you, it looks so sick with the skin. Yeah, this is a pretty cool skin. It's dark blue. For sure. Titanium Tigers has quite the life lead right now. Herbalicious has so much ground to make up, not going to be able to, as that rock wall will get Titanium Tigers the first round. Round two, fight. Okay, very nice. He's going to go for the meter burn to make himself a tad bit safer. Look at this combo from Herbalicious. Good throw. Escape fail on that too. Oh no. There is some lag issues going on here. Okay, you didn't. I wasn't the only one who just saw that. No, I'm seeing it. These guys are uh, a little poopy butt with the connection. But Kerbalicious, man, he's not taking no prisoner. He's gonna keep pushing on. Listen, I hope these guys are able to play a nice, stable match. You know, the last thing you want to see is this match get ruined because of lag. But shit. Rock. Flawless block out of there. Good tech on the throw. Too slow. Nice. Break away off the rock wall. Titanium Tigers playing such a great zoning game right now. Yeah, he's playing really freaking good here. Good blocks. Curbalicious right now. He's waiting for the perfect opportunity. Oh my god, the oh, jump three. Wow. Good okay, throw. this is crush. This is crush. Oh yeah. She said, Ay! Good tech on that throw. Need the flawless block on that Ooh, rock wall. He set his ass down. This is getting way too down to the wire. Oh, he gets the flawless block that time. Oh, that's punishable. You gotta be really careful. The rock wall will do it. Titanium Tigers takes game number one. I'm happy he finished it with the. Yeah! Very convincing game from Titanium Tigers. I mean, Kerbo was literally one confirm away from closing that out. But the defense from Titanium Tigers at the end there was literally at Ultra Instinct's level. He just couldn't open him up. Kerbo gave it his all, and he couldn't open him up. No, sir. Kerbo was in a, a really tough position. To put it lightly, he was between a rock and a hard place. And we're probably not going to be seeing a character switch from Kerbalicious. You know, this is doubt it. his character right here, man. Yeah. Highly doubt we see a character switch from Kerbo. He's just gonna have to try and adapt to this set, which is probably what I would like recommend. I'm, I'm not the greatest player ever, but just from the outside looking in, we obviously know that Kerbo is extremely, like he's, he's an unbelievable player with this Cabal. So rather than switching to a character you may not be as familiar with, just try and find an opportunity to adapt and evolve to this matchup. With Cabal Sack? Here we go, game number two underway with the Cabal Sack, yes. Ooh, good block. He's gonna go for the crushing blow punish. He's gonna make Kerbo pay the price here. And that is the tornado move that everyone hates. That move literally covers every option in the game, bro. Oh, that's a punish. Titanium Tiger is gonna take that round once again. Destruction begets creation. Well, is Kerbo's name spelled wrong again? You know what? I don't give a fuck. Did you screw it up again? Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, Spanky Doodle. Just make it Kerbo. Just make it Kerbo. Spanky Doodle, you're not getting paid for the rest of the month. <laughs> Whoa! Nice. Flawless block up two. Okay, Kerbo. We're seeing a little bit of something now. Big combo. Too slow. Too slow. He said it. Rockwall strikes again. Wake up roll gets him hit by the rocks. 
Holy, the zoning pressure right now. Here we go. Turbolicious finally finding some momentum here. But just like that, Titanium gonna steal it back. No okay. way! No way. No way. No way. No way. It's a big combo with the Fatal Blow, but it's not going to finish this no round. So Titanium, or sorry, Turbo needs to close this out. No way. Oh, and the, the sweep. Four. And Projectile is gonna do one to chip avoided. Are you kidding me? And he went for the raw Nomad Dash Destroyer. There was one last defensive meter to save Titanium Tigers from the chip, and then he closes out with the Fatal Blow Punish. Look, now I, going up Titanium literally has attack. no defensive bars. He was yeah, done, gone. he was cashed out. Yep. That's why that is one of the best features in this game, no doubt. I know that leading into this, I can't remember if it was the beta, or there were people who were making that suggestion, they were like, you know, chip damage, sometimes it could be lame. Not necessarily lame, but just sometimes it, it could be anticlimactic for a game, when your opponent's on that magic pixel, and it's like you get this guaranteed opportunity to chip them out. Having the defensive meters being absorbed into the chip damage so you don't get killed right away, it's, it makes for situations like what we just saw, where that Nomad Dash, once blocked, and that defensive meter being there, saved Titanium Tigers from losing the game. 100%, man. Just like that, Titanium Tigers is gonna be sitting up on a 2-0 lead against Kerbalicious, the Coliseum champion. Is he going to be able to bounce back? I, we've seen reverse comebacks from Kerbo, man. We've seen reverse comebacks from Kerbo. For sure. Yes, plenty of times. There was one There was one top eight where he did it twice in the top eight. Nice. Nomad dash to punish. Oh, not out of this. No, no, no. Not out of this. They're making the statement. We stand forward 224. Two, Good block. He's gonna get the flawless block, but Titanium just putting all the pressure in the world using all the elements. Fire. Water. <laughs> air. He's got them all. Oh my god, wait what a, a minute. Combo. Oh my goodness. Yeah, where'd that 40%, 40 come from? 40 percentiles? Where'd that 40 percent come from, bro? I don't know. What a jump in from Kerbalicious. Kerbalicious. I like the early Nomad Dash too. Whoa. I like the early Nomad Dash. Rather than going for the full 1-1-1 string into Nomad Dash, where there wasn't that breakaway, he still had the corner. Just restand into the throw, Kerbalicious. Hold, a, hold on a second. You're making Avatar references. Is he going oh, into the Avatar? He, no, he's dead. Oh, the walk-up throw gets tech? I just said he's Wait dead. If I just commentator's curse this and Titanium makes... You okay, yeah, he's have, dead. Oh, he's okay. dead. Big boy damage. Brutal. Brutal. Gonna break her back to end that match. Kerbal Lish just got a game on a board. This is exactly what he needed, man. In this very moment here, Kerbalicious, you know? If he didn't take this game... He could have been in big trouble. Come on, come on, come on. What, well, what was, was that? that? What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like Cabal. Wait, it's coming. I hear, I hear something. Got the spin, got the spin. What the what fuck? What the hell? Cabal. Bro. This dude Cabal is running Shit. through my room after each match. Are you serious? This guy is out of his mind. Oh, what the fuck was oh, that? Whoa, whoa. Yo. <sighs> yo, oh, Jesus yo. Christ. Back Come and on, forth, stop. back and forth. I'm missing my underwear right now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, what's this guy doing? Oh my goodness. Round one, fight. Oh, he gets him with the Nomad Dash. Hold up. He's gonna sit him down. Big game right now for Kerbalicious. Can he send this to a game five? If not, Titanium Tigers will be the third to make his way into this final top eight. The last qualifier for Champions of the Realms. The last. That gets me nervous. 
Very nice. You jump in. Gonna toss the boulder to Flawless Block. Herbalicious, he has a slight life lead here. He's trying to walk him down. Beautiful! Nice. This is exactly what he needed. He should have went for that setup a oh, lot sooner. Oh, man. He gave him a chance to break away. And Titanium Tigers is taking full advantage of that chance. No. Oh, my no. God. That was godlike. That was godlike. The anti-air immediately confirmed into Fatal Blow. Titanium Tigers on match point now. Resign and spare yourself. That was powerful. Not going to be able to get his Nomad Dash confirmed like he usually does. The trade on the attacks were a bit too severe for him. Oh my too god. Slow. Too slow. Got the spin. Too <laughs> slow. The thing that's so tough about that projectile with the rock is that there's just always the threat that if you try to jump over it, you're going to get caught by the anti air version. Big. Big crushing blow for Titanium Tigers as he starts to increase this life lead. Herbalicious, gotta make something happen. Now or never. Gets the air to air projectile to land. Oh no. Oh, That's he went for hero. it. He went for it, was looking for a counter or a punish, and Titanium Tigers will be the third competitor making his way into the top eight, whereas Herbalicious now sent to the loser side. Gotta continue that battle to try and make it into the top eight himself. Well done to Titanium Tigers with the Cetrion. Yeah, very good stuff, man. You know, I was honestly for a second there thinking Kerbal was going to be making that uh, reverse 3-0 because we've seen it before. Once that dude gets started, yep. bro, he just gets into another place. Um, Hold on. I got to reset pool number one match. It seems like they got a little cocky, oh, but the, the DQ thing happened again. Yeah. All right, but it is fixed. So we're going to be getting the last match for tonight. The last top 16 oh, match for tonight. Oh, man. Yes, yeah, this is going to be a good one, dude. We got So Sick Nash fan going up it. against Han Rashid. You I guys are in for it. This is going to be a sick match. And this is nerve wracking, bro, because this is the final top 16 winner sick. side spot. You know, like. I feel if you want a really good shot to get into that top eight finale with a three thousand dollar pop pool, it's kind of crucial to stay in this winner side, you know, because it gives mm -hmm. it gives you that that safety net when you get into that top eight on Friday. It gives you that little safety net. You can play around a little bit. I mean, you better not be fucking playing around, but <laughs> you know, it helps being in that winner side. Definitely helps. Um, I mean, I don't think we've seen a time. There was one time Caboose where the grand finalists didn't win the the full tournament and i think it was um it was um i can't fucking remember but there there Are you was talking about on the winner side on win? the winner side yes like a player in, uh, in, our, in our tournament series that got into the winner side grand final and got reversed and lost was it averk who did that it was averk but i forgot who he was fighting against who was fighting against yeah it was averk though I know. it was averk and you you remember you remember it right that was, a, do, that was a one time. And illusions, illusions. Yes, 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 yes. Was it illusions? Chat with the assistants there. Chat with the assistants. So, yeah, it was. So it yeah. was. I'm, I remember. Yeah, so, and that just goes to show how strong getting in that grand finals winner side is because only one time out of the eight, out of the seven weeks we've had, you know, that's happened. So it's going to be curious to see if it's yep. going to be done for the for the final right qualifier. now, about to go down. Get it. hype. This is it, the final set of the night. I wanna see some hype in the chat. I don't care if it's my emotes, if it's Destroyer's emotes, or like Mr. Aquaman's emotes, or even somebody else. I just wanna see some non-stop hype in the chat right now. This is it, the final week for Champions of the Realms. Such a key match going down between Han Rashid and Sosik Nash fan. The winner ends up in the top eight on that winner's side. The loser will still have to battle it out on the loser side of the bracket for the pool play. This is it. Yeah, this is nerve wracking, man. So sick Nash fans have been proving himself to be an incredible Sindel player. You know, he's been making his way to the top nonstop, and it's going to be interesting if he can close this out here. Great start using the interactable. On Rashid has the corner. 
Gets caught by the standing four, though. Good sweep. Oh, the short hop. Continuing to play really well here with the Fujin. He tried to delay the forward four, but Han Rashid not falling for it. Gonna immediately answer back with some nice combo. Pressure. Round two. Fight. Good block. Answers back with a nice punish. Look at this damage here, Caboose. Oh, he drops it. Han Rashid played so well already. He did drop that combo, but has the life lead leading into the second round. Nice standing four. A good throw, gonna switch the side. So it's like Nash fan now has an opportunity to go on the offensive. Ooh, he went for the stagger. He's drilling him in this corner right now. Oh, man. Oh, he screwed up. Bro, this, not able to, this pressure it's actually, is insane. Oh, he's doing that on purpose. This pressure yeah, is ready. insane. He's the dive kick on purpose this to man, keep that pressure up. Bro, so sick Nash has been in that corner for like five minutes straight now. Nice down one. What is he doing? Yeah, Attack him! He was looking for that punish. He wants that crushing blow scream. And that's going to be the end of game number one going to Han Rashid. stuff so far there for Han Rashid destroyer what do what do you what do you think we to expect from Nash fan here do we see a character switch are they gonna stick with the Sindel I mean he's been popping off a majority of the time with this Sindel I know for a fact he does have a Devora in his pocket but mm -hmm. who, who knows who, who this guy decides to pull out you know especially going up against a player like Fuji. Like Han Rashid with a Fujin at this caliber, it's scary. No doubt about it. Looks like Sosig Nashman is going to go ahead and stick with the Sindel. Let's see if he's going to be able to bounce back and, you know, turn things around here. Definitely a big game, too. If Han Rashid goes up 2-0, that is not a position you want to be in. Now, granted, Han Rashid's been reverse 3 0 in the past, but nevertheless. Round one. Nash fans sticking with the Sindel. Gets caught immediately to start off the game from the back one. Oh, man, the shutdown with those standing four. What the hell, man? This movement from Han Rashid is flawless. How do you even react to that? I don't know. Very good drill. Keeping this pressure on lockdown right now. Oh, that down two. Nice. Get out of there. She says Skywalker this. Oh, man. But the wake up gets completely avoided from the cross up. And then Han Rashid gets a full combo out of it into the back one one string with the warp needle. A lot of ground to make up if you're Nash fan. Oh, good interruption with the 4 4. Tech on the throw and the scream crush. Oh, this might come out. Yeah, this is so much damage. He needs to go into the fatal blow 100%. Is this the round? Maybe. Oh, it's going to be so close. I think it's oh, the round. It's yeah, so it's the round. Close. It's the round. Wow. And there it is 48%. Mad damage, bro. Great stuff there from Nashman. Needed that screen pressure low. Gonna go for some unblockable damage there to start off this next round. Very good stuff. Gonna keep the drill pressure in play. Gonna tag him with the low counter. Wake up, scream! Oh my god, the back two! So dangerous. Caboose Hand Rashid is giving it his all here. He wants this. He really Obviously does. He does not want to send this beyond a 3-0. But Nash fan not going to make that easy. Not even a little. Good throw. Oh my god. A couple more touches away from murder. So sick Nash fan going to get the breakaway but Hold on. Hey, she drops the combo. Or was that a setup to get the cross up? What? I will not fail. That was insane. Okay, good stuff. Corner lockdown from Han Rashid. Fucks oh, up the combo. combo. 
Very unfortunate stuff there. A nice little trade from both these players. He's gonna go for the cancel. Good down pokes from Sosik Nash fan. Wait a minute. He's gonna take a step back. He knows this is getting a little out of control. He does have a round. They're both tied in rounds here. So this isn't so bad for Sosik Nash fan, but this life deficit no. is brutal. The and the lack of fatal blow definitely puts Nashran in a really tough position oh, here yeah. to attempt that comeback. No way. Oh, gets caught by the Cloudwalker. No way. Okay, wait. Oh, went for a throw. No punish off the whip. Wow! Big crush on Rashid is up 2-0. Needs one more. <laughs> just, <laughs> just tossing shit across the screen. It's going crazy. <laughs> this guy's losing well, his mind. pop off from, uh, from Fujin there. As he pulls out the lightsaber. His ponytail was going game. all over the place. One more game. And Han Rashid will be moving on to that top eight. Or can Nashvan somehow make the comeback? Could we see the beginning of a reverse 3-0 in this next game? Destroyer, I believe it's possible. Oh, for sure. That being said, though, Han Rashid has been in the Avatar state for the entirety of the pool play today. He really has been. Playing ballistic, man. Uh, every single set he's had, I don't think it, it's gotten to uh, to a sticky situation for him. He's been in full control of all his matches tonight. Which is just showing the, the superiority he's brought to this uh, this tournament today, man. Mm -hmm. Let's see if So Sick Nash is going to be able to put a halt to this. And do something about Han Rashid's Totos. <laughs> yeah, do you mind? What? I didn't say anything. Gave on the throw. That's a great start. If there ever was one for Hunter Sheep, but there's four fours. Oh, good tech on the throw that time. That gets rid of that crushing blow. Already, man. Henry Sheep starting off this set looking good. He's going to get the jump in three. Good blocks. Oh my god. Oh! The forward four dodges that that little pool! Really? Yeah, that looked crazy. And Rashid got punished for that? That would have been super unfortunate. But he he kind of dodged the bullet there. Oh, he got the back two, but he oh went god. for the completion of the string. Oh, the end of the forward four string connects. And there you oh, go. Oh, the low scream. So sick, Nash Van closing that round out. Timing that special perfectly. Man, that was a nice little setup combo he tried to go for it there, but and Rashid is going to awaken. Looking fresh. Stuff. Nice. Look up stream. Standing four. That's an escape fail on the throw. Oh, yeah. He's got that damage locked and loaded now. Good. Back two into the Skywalker. Oh, oh no. Nice. Oh, that's oh, a punish. Missed opportunities. Oh, that could have been way worse. Yeah, what is so sick? That Nash could have ended right the game. Now. That punish could have ended the game. Nash fan is making some we really weird oh, decisions right now. Man. He's going to be choking that set, putting Han Rashid in a 2 0 position. Last Sorry. round, last everything match point. Nice. Boys. If Han Rashid wins this match, it hinges on the missed opportunity of that punish. I got Hunter Sheed spending both defensive meters going for those cancels. This is looking nice. bad, bro. The short, short hop. hop. Good block. Yo, how many down ones is so sick now? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, what a conversion. He answered back big time. He is nuts. Hunter <laughs> Sheed is disgusting. He impresses me. Dude, don't impress me. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Throw. One touch away, Caboose. One touch away. No way. Ooh, I oh, he had, I thought he wanted I thought he had that punish. Oh god. So dangerous. Destroyer. That crossbow. He wanted that back too. Went for the empty jump. 
uses the interactable to create a little more Bro. space. Just as 23 space. seconds left on the clock. The space control we're seeing. Oh, he avoids the fatal blow. That was sick. He this... has, now he has an opportunity to push in more if he wanted to. 15 seconds, gets the back two into the crossbow. This Nash fan needs something now, and that's gonna be it. Wait, what? You're kidding me. Bro, come on, You're this is for me. top eight. Just end this, you idiot. Just end oh my this, God. bro. Oh my God. You Kaboom. deserve it. I was going to say the space it. control from uh, Hammer Sheet is out of this world. But hold on. He might have just fucked himself over. If, if, if Nash Fan wins this, I will not mercy back. If I was Nash Fan, I will no not way. mercy back. No way. Oh, oh, three seconds. He got the shot. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Why would Han Rashid do this crazy shit at the end? This guy oh, is a monster. That was the most Han Rashid is a monster, thing. bro. That was a disrespect like I've never seen before in my life. Oh my god. He gets the short hop and just bags. That's crazy, dude. Yo, and oh, yo, God. honestly, dude, I, I, if I was so sick, Nashman, I would have took that life lead and I would have, I would have ran, I would have ran away. But oh my God. valiant effort. Um, it definitely would have been curious. Uh, it would have been very cool to see what so sick, Nashman would have done if he took that round. You know, if he would have mercyed back, or if he would have just called it right there and advanced. But. Congratulations to Han Rashid. Nonetheless, he's going to be making that final spot into the top eight winner side for Friday. That's going down right here. Twitch.tv slash caboose. If you guys want yes, to get sir. ready for it, man, mark this shit down in your calendars. Get ready. Be here at 6 p.m. Eastern time zone. It's going to be crazy because this is the final qualifier. We have seven of the top eight finalists already set in stone. And we're going to be getting one final qualifier for this week. If you want to check that's out right. the top eight that's set at the moment right now, we still got some losers matches that need to be played. They're going to be going down off stream. If you want to follow up with the uh, full top eight bracket, make sure you are following Caboose and myself. We'll be posting top eights, retweeting the top eight, so you guys yep. will know who's competing the full roster for Friday. But check it right here. I don't know if you guys see it. We're going to have Han Rashid versus Biohazard on the winner side oh and Titanium Tigers versus pulse and again the losers matches are being played off stream right now so we'll be getting that set up momentarily and you can find that out on our social medias make sure you follow us on there again if you guys are watching this on youtube do me the biggest favor make sure to hit that thumbs up button make sure to subscribe to the channel you know this series do has it. been incredible caboose as always it's been an honor shout out to console gaming league bro and take it away brother yeah, uh, Destroyer couldn't have said it better. This has been an amazing tournament. We have one more night to finally crown our final qualifier until the finale. Top eight that will be taking place on October 30th on CGL's Twitch channel. Thank you to everybody who tuned in, all 1,200 of Ooh. you. This is incredible. Where's the finale uh, taking place? On CGL. Exclamation point CGL in chat. Make sure you're following their Twitch 